It's on each side. Oh, they're saying that you're muted. Yeah, you are muted. Okay, well. well I'm it, not muted. Well, last time you were muted, so it was my turn this time. Oh. <laughs> now it's good. We're good. Sorry now. about that, guys. Hello. Welcome in. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, and I hope you're excited for some sunny side stuff. I'm really excited to share it with you all as well. Um, we're going to be getting all into it today and seeing some stuff that you guys haven't seen before. So should be a good time. And like I was saying, Sydney's going to be the uh, invisible Ooh. force with us today. She She's Ooh. in the chat. She's not videoing with us, hanging out. So that's the voice that you hear. Um, yeah. If y'all don't know me, I'm my name's Erica, and um, also known as Hidden Deleaves on Twitch and on social me medias. So if you've seen that name, that's that's me. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna be playing some game. Playing some game. Uh, so yesterday there was a stream for Sunnyside, and we did a little bit of this and that. Did a lot of exploring of the map and the character creator and things like that, so we're going to try to dive into some different stuff today uh, for that. And, you know, if anyone wants to see anything particular, you can let me know, and I can do my best to try to do those things um, with the time that we have. But that's, that's, what, that's what's going on today. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm sure I could keep on talking, but I don't think anyone wants that. I think people want sunny side. So I think I'm going to just get right into it. I mean, you do have some really awesome stuff in your background, like I did yesterday. I, I do have some things. Cut out. I do. It's actually a skateboard that I don't intend. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I don't intend to ever use it because it's just a cool board, you know. But yes. That's awesome. He has like shoulders. That's so cool. Yeah, isn't it pretty neat? My friend oh, um, Kevin would love that. My friend got it for me who worked at uh, Zoomies because they had the deals. That's awesome. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff, you know. And the name Hidden into Leaves Naruto, of course. So I love it. Yeah, we got plenty of silly stuff back here. Oh, I got got my nerd shelf for the most part. Like that's all of my Attack on Titan. Stuff, Amazing. And got some more mangas down there and some art and things and plushy. Everybody and needs stuff. a good nerd shelf behind <laughs> them on streams. <laughs> Gotta have a nerd shelf. Yeah, it's it's a necessary thing. It really is. And it just brings me joy looking at it. So it's a nice thing to have. Uh, and also, I didn't welcome um, you in, Cherry. Hello. I hope that you're doing fantastic. I appreciate you coming by. Uh, how rude of me. How rude of me. Uh, but yeah. And I would show some, got some art there, like, that I did for, like, One Piece stuff, but it's kind of a spoiler, so I won't zoom in on it, but if you guys want to auto-enhance yourself. I can, I can tell what it is. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but. Um, I haven't gotten that there yet. But me either. I've seen it enough that I, like, know that it's a spoiler. It's cool, though. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't really want to get spoiled on stuff, but I went, made that for my boyfriend for um, his birthday, I think, or our awesome. anniversary, actually, I think it was. Hey, welcome in, Ken. Ken. Hope you're awesome sauce. Um, yeah, so I got, I got all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, we got get all into it, but I don't know if y'all are about that life. Um, so I don't even, I, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many things I, I can show you guys on the game today. So I kind of want to get started with that. Unless if you have anything you want to start with, Sydney. No, I think just get it. Get it? <laughs> It'll take me it. a minute in character creator anyway and stuff. So yeah. Welcome in Jessica. Hope you're awesome. My lips are chapped. They hurt real bad. Not really. It's been the struggle lately. I've had the same problem. Dry weather is getting me. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to hush this music and uh, go into sunny side music, which is a beautiful part of this game. <laughs> Uh, if any of the audio needs to be adjusted, y'all can scream at me, and I can adjust it. Just, just scream. <laughs> mm. Hey, welcome that to Jax. Like stinger. Thank you. I it was like twelve bucks too. It was a great purchase. Like, I think I tipped him like an extra twelve or something on top of it, and he was like, "What? Why?" And I'm like. You nice. did amazing, and I felt like it was worth more than $12. <laughs> I didn't have a lot more to give than that, but I was like, I felt like you did good, and I can't do that. That's some witchcraft, if I've ever seen it. Oh, definitely hit new game to get off this screen, because there's stuff on it. That... Oh. Sorry. It shouldn't be there, but it is. So I... Is it take it off? <laughs> Perfect. Y'all didn't see that. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what... I don't know what you're talking about. You want to you want to see Grain Daddy? We can make that happen. We Hope can make that happen. We can make that happen. That's something I can definitely do. Um, just been hiding in the leaves again. I do that from time to time. Zared, hello. <laughs> I appreciate you all coming in. Pass. If you want to be called something different, let me know, and I will try my best to remember. Matt's here. Matthew, hello. We were just complimenting the music. The lovely music. So, I know Sydney went through a lot of this beginning stuff in good detail yesterday, so I'll I'll go through it, like, again, but I'm not gonna, like, super dig into it. If you all want to see that, you can just go check out the VOD from yesterday and see more in-depth stuff for things that she covered. And I think that's probably a good way to tackle this. Um, yeah, I agree. That's why VODs exist. So, you know, you got cozy mode. Um, RPG mode and custom and you can kind of do 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 customize it to your like likeness and then uh, I usually just do cozy because we like to keep it cozy around here we do we do mm. grimy guy PSA the cat has returned thank you for letting me know the cat has returned grimy guy is my boyfriend by the way um, oh. <laughs> that's why he said the cat has returned. He likes to let me know when the cat makes it home. Um, <laughs> passes to your name, so you did awesome. Rare. That's like a rare streamer W, because usually I can't get names right ever. And like people will like make me try multiple times over and over again to repronounce it, and I mess up every time. Every time. <laughs> Gara Makati is back. So that's the uh, the yeah. the feral turned house cat, right? Yes, he just randomly showed up on my uh, porch one day, and okay. he was just meowing. And we're like, you know, he looks hungry. Let's give him some corn. So we gave him some corn, and then he's just kind of been hanging out ever since. <laughs> so random. Oh, well, I've never had cats before, so I didn't really know. Corn. <laughs> I didn't really know what they can eat, but we were already making corn for dinner, and I was like, can I just well, give him corn? Well, I mean, corn? he stayed. He, he stayed, he around. liked it. Apparently he liked it. He yeah. liked it. And the weird thing is, he doesn't even really like human food that much. Like, he doesn't... He really doesn't do a whole lot mm. of begging for human food, unless if it's, like, spicy hot chicken wings. I don't know why, but he really likes the spicy chicken wings. Oh, shout out to the orange guy. He finally appeared. The orange guy. The Yeah, the orange shirt, you know, guy that you start out with in Character Creator. Oh, it's because I deleted I was my talking CC about him. thing. Yeah, I was talking about him yesterday, but I didn't have him because I had made a character the day before. So it pulled that one in. Don't but mind yeah, me. Now we get to see what I was talking about. The Don't mind me. The orange screen guy. Don't mind me. I'm just making a quick adjustment really about. quick. Just, just I, I noticed that I was, I noticed I was... I noticed I was having things coming through, and oh. I didn't like it. <laughs> and I couldn't, it, there was like a little bit peeking out, and I was like, please, please, don't do this. Don't, don't do this. Okay. Okay, we're, we should be fine now. Just, just like five now seconds. I'm curious. Five seconds. 
there was just like the border wasn't within the border and it and it like you could oh, see the thing right. and yeah, yeah yeah i was like you know what since i noticed it now let me just go ahead and fix it like super quick like like so quick no one even saw that i was so fast what are you talking about yeah exactly so um <laughs> love this adoption story <laughs> yeah i mean it's pretty um it's pretty silly but it it works i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna like run through do your thing this like super quick i'm once again so fast y'all won't even y'all won't even see it happen we're gonna do that there's so many customization options y'all you can spend a full work day just in this character creator so you can do that when the time comes for you to do that but for now i'm going to just throw some stuff on we're just gonna oop, let's, let's i have like a default character look that i just always tend to gravitate towards i did for I the longest time that i play yeah i mean i did for the longest time where i just kept on using the same one over and over again but then like as more stuff got added and i wanted to do more stuff i was like you know i just started switching it up more often but let's see we'll do that and let's oh, the, get some comfies the, we've been avoiding the randomizer because it's been pulling clothing that it's not supposed to yeah so limited that's why we don't stuff use it. all right i'm just gonna Maybe we'll just change our shirt color super quick, like. Are you good to go barefoot? If no one's against me doing it, it is where I feel most comfortable. <laughs> um, for those that don't know, I was I did some of the early access alpha, influencer alpha is the word that I was looking for. Yeah. And I always was barefoot there because the first time I did it, I accidentally went barefoot and then it just kind of became a thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Liberate them feetsies. Gotta let them breathe, you know. Um, you know, let's let's be able to tell the time. I think that's good, and that's I think that's me. I think that's well, it's not me, but it's my sunny side character. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm used to your characters looking like. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Uh, so we're just gonna go hidden and leaf. If y'all want to come up with a farm name for me, I if that is like the hardest decision of my life to do that. So, ah, ah, that's what I like to do. Oh yeah, I totally forgot you could change the facial expressions. You can. I totally forgot to do that yesterday. Okay, I can I can show that off a little bit then. So yeah, while you're totally in the forgot. camera mode. Not just here, but like whenever you use the camera on your phone, uh, you can change your facial expressions. I like to do the yeah. mean mug one sometimes and do this <laughs> or or this. I think that's a good a good pose. Um, but you can also add little filters to your face <laughs> as well. So there's all kinds of fun things. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. Titan Farm. Oh, you know me. I I have a I do have. A, a love of that. So we'll do a big smile. So we're excited. We're excited to be here. Excited to be sharing some um, early sunny side stuff for y'all. So here's a slider for those that maybe haven't seen that as well. It has changed probably since y'all have seen it. Um, Definitely since the alpha, yeah. So I've, I went through all those. Technically, y'all could pause and read all of those if you wanted to. Just saying. Just saying. Um, I think gonna I'm still going to tweak them a little bit. But I don't think I'm ever going to be happy with them, but I still think they need some tweaking. Yeah. Especially the, like, character... I think it's, what is it, character... No, gender identity. I think we're just going to... I think we're going to rephrase that, too. Yeah. I remember some speaking of that. Yeah, and... that conversation. Yeah. And, you know, some good input and stuff. Hey, welcome in. Nay, nay. If I can pronounce your name differently, let me know, and I will do. I will try again. I will try again. <laughs> uh, so 
in case if some of you guys haven't seen this, maybe I can run through this. But th all this was still in the stuff, right? Should I, should yeah. I go through this? I mean, you can just go through it quickly. There might be some people who weren't here yesterday, but they can go watch it. You I finally did it. it. Quick. I did. I'll read it to you guys <laughs> how I read it whenever I go through this. Welcome to I the future. It's not that, that exciting. <laughs> My only sibling finally joins the world of social media. It is exciting. Besides, I need to keep tabs on you somehow. I'm not a child. I was, I was telling... <laughs> Or any, or so I was telling somebody the other day, I love hearing people say this that stuff out loud because I'm always curious. Because I wrote all this, right? This is all me. Yeah. And I'm really curious if if the way people hear it is how I heard it in my head when I was writing it. Yeah, and you may be surprised so a lot I of time love, people hear things in all different kinds of ways. Totally different. You know, I love when people read the dialogue out loud. So yeah. This is for all the future streamers. I love <laughs> when you guys read the dialogue out loud. It makes me so happy. I'm not good at voices and stuff, but I don't mind reading stuff out loud. But I love when people use voices and things. I'm just, that's not oh, the kind of creative too. person I am. Um, Rainy, hello. The Facebook yeah, dad camera right. angle. <laughs> the story is no longer locked in my head. <laughs> oh, what did you miss? I'm also... Not much. We're just still getting past the character creator and doing the very beginning intro. I also love how I love seeing what um, pronouns people assign to Akira mm -hmm. because Akira is completely gender neutral. Yeah. So some people just assume like it's an old personal. sister. Some people assume it. And that's what I love about it. Yeah. Is because you can immediately people like who have an older sister, like, oh, that's my older sister. That's yep. why I did it that way is so that people could just kind of assign their yeah, own. Yeah, it's left ambiguous. Their own siblings. Yeah, that's really, really helpful. it's cool to see what people default to. Um, reminds me of my older sister for sure. Oh, story isn't locked in your head anymore, right? <laughs> so, no, but I still care about you and I still can't believe you're doing this. I know, but we talked about it. It's still crazy. So, what's the town like? Don't know. Trains dropped me in Higashi. I'll have to catch a bus from here. A bus? So it's in the middle of nowhere. It's an opportunity. Sometimes you just have to leap when the opportunity comes. You know I'd never be able to afford a place like this. You still might, might not be able to. Only one way to find out. Well, I'm here for you no matter what happens. Thanks, Akira. Hey, what are big sibs for? Let me know how it goes. I will. And then my barefoot self coming out into Higashi, walking through the city. In Sunnyside, it maybe isn't that crazy, like being, like, it's like a rural area, but Higashi's like a, ta like a city. There's glass. Yeah, it's a little weird. Well, maybe I'm just used to, like, have a... United States cities. They don't have a no-shoes policy like we do. That is fair. That is fair. Just in general reminds me of an older sibling. Yes. I don't want my sister ruining my games. <laughs> okay, then <laughs> then make a different one up. <laughs> you know I have an older brother. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was great he was to you growing up. Yep. Always stood up for you. Cooked you snacks. Like, I don't I don't have a great relationship with my older sisters. And so I definitely wrote it as like a fantasy. <laughs> kind of thing you're like oh so. the ideal um yeah. definitely not how your sister is as a big sister we play the games with our younger same age siblings perfect snacks i'm the youngest and take care of your other brothers yeah so I can sweet relate to that may is uh, fine my cat world. has my cat has joined me oh kitty he apparently cuddles very badly. It's like, I require attention. So I wasn't able to really do test streams of this, obviously, because it's not allowed to be sh shown yet. You know what I mean? You know? So mm -hmm. I wasn't yeah. able to, like, fine point all of the settings. So hopefully it runs fine and is groovy, but we'll see.
You get those jams. Heck yeah. Um, Akira seems like they don't trust the main character's decisions at all, though. It does seem that True. way. And as you progress through True. the story, you'll see why. And in a sense, I guess it's still left pretty ambiguous, but. But yeah, you get you get little crumbs of lore. <laughs> you can see your kids talking to each other this way. It is it's quite real feeling, I would say. All right, so we've arrived in Sunnyside. Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. My name is Mayumi and I'm and I'm a member of the Sunnyside City Council. We'll start the auction in just a moment and we appreciate your patience. Wait, don't we get to see the place? How do I even know if I want it or not? Well, there was an image in the advertisement. Who are you? This is Hiro. He's also a member of the council. You expect me to buy a property from some kid sight unseen based on a picture? All right, everyone, let's begin. I like how Mayumi's just like, anyway, <laughs> anyway. down to business. <laughs> Makes it more personal for the player, definitely. Um, but my younger sister always tormented you. Mm. Well, sunny side, you can live a, a different time. <laughs> You're right, she's like moving right along. Uh, what a waste of my time, they say. Okay, fine, one less person to bid against. We don't get to see the land? Well, that's weird, but here goes nothing. All right, everyone, starting price is 350 cuples. Is it cuples? I think it's cuples. Sorry, yes. It's it's, it's a hard word to say. It's cupules. Cup, 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 I can't even say cupules. it. Cupules. It's whatever you can actually pronounce. Cup. Whatever you can <laughs> okay. get out of your mouth. <laughs> cupules. Um, 350. Do I have 400? Let's let's do it. We got We got money to spend on this, apparently. 450. Someone's got 600. Anyone 650? We're gonna bid for 700. It's getting really expensive. 850? 850 to that guy. 900? 850 going once, going twice. If you don't bid now, you're gonna lose this opportunity. Don't bid. I'm kidding. We're gonna bid. To my friend in the back. Mayumi's always already calling me her friend. That's so kind. Okay. <laughs> hey, congrats. Name's Gabriel. Mayumi says I'm supposed to give you a ride to your new place once you've set settled up the taxes and paperwork. Oh, all right. I'll wait here. Come find me when you're ready to go. Um, I believe um, Sydney went through like a lot of the tutorial stuff and like read through those on their playthrough yesterday. Yeah, so if you want yep. to check that stuff out, go check out that VOD. And I'll probably skip through a lot of that stuff just so we can do some extra exploring and stuff to, to the deal. What happens if you don't bid? Do you want to say, Sydney? <laughs> oh yeah, you lose. If you don't bid, it's the only way- Game over. <laughs> yeah, it's game over and you restart. Yep. We did make it so it saves your character though, so you don't have to go through all the character creation again, but you do have to start You over. have to put in your name and stuff again, but other than that, yeah. you don't have to like make your character again. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, don't do that. Oh! Sleepy, I'm so happy to hear that. Yay. Wait, which trailer? Because we've had a few, and I'm always curious, like, which ones people liked the best. Mm hmm Like, which ones actually work and whatever. Yeah, wh which one actually grabbed you? <laughs> I mean, it's good to have different ones, too, because different ones are for different yeah. people, you know? And there's so much to show off in this game, like... So much, oh my god. So, I had someone, someone said Titan Farm, and, like, I am obsessed with Attack on Titan, so... Oh, That's... Titan Farm is good. I, I like that. I think we're going with that. We're going with that because I suck at naming things. Awful at it. I just use the same names for everything because I don't feel like thinking about it. The game credits roll, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Me too. Uh, um, Santi. I'm glad that you're excited. By the way, I noticed your phone is cracked. Come to Tech Hero later. I'll get that fixed up for you. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Neighbors need to support each other, right? I guess so, yeah. 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 Um, I'm just gonna disable pop-ups. 
Ready then? Yeah. <laughs> I had never seen the like confirmation confirmation message for disabling the pop-ups. <laughs> That was really cute. Like the next point. I honestly didn't Are you even sure? read it. I'm gonna be it was funny. honest. I didn't. I didn't even check that out. <laughs> I'll be looking at it in the future now. Um, been waiting for the game for over a year, so it's been a while since your first trailer. Fair enough. Oh, okay. Rainy said that pop up is new, so. Oh, okay. There we That's go. why I'd never seen it before. I never. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't think I tested the pop-ups popping up, so. or disabling the pop-ups. So. Yeah, yeah. Did we have specific game influences? Actually, yeah. It depends on um, what section of the game you're looking at, because it was. I mean, we pull from everywhere. So like, the main influence was obviously Persona. Um, I think that's the really easy one to tell, and then everything um definitely all the farm sims so you know harvest moon stardew valley but for a lot of farm sims it was more like looking at what they had done and making sure we do something different or better um i'm trying to think where we pulled like system ideas from we pulled some ideas from zelda we pulled some ideas from witcher we pulled some ideas from skyrim um so, but yeah, it's mostly Persona, and then we really just kind of wanted to do our own thing and and look at what other games had done successfully and either build off of that or see what other games had done unsuccessfully and fix it. So, it's And like, then also just, like, what do we want out of a game, you know? It's like family Chex Mix, like your family recipe of yeah, Chex right? Mix. You, like, take other exactly. elements from everyone else's Chex Mix recipe, but then you still add your own thing and you want it to be, like, its own thing. Right. Yeah, definitely. I think the most <laughs> obvious one is Persona just because of the art style. Um, it's the most visual influence, I think. But even our art style is very much our own. So. Which is beautiful, let's be real. Yeah, it's the, the kind of the hallmark of, of what we went with is like, a, a stylized environment, but with like very real practical effects, so that it just, especially everybody loves the weather and stuff, and the lighting is very realistic, and so it just makes the whole world just shine. All right, so we're officially in the game and able to do things. Um, I jump a, a lot. All right. I do that. That's just something. <laughs> I never played Harvest Moon. Yeah, I haven't either. Oh, okay. I don't feel like I'll be attacked then. Actually, what's funny is most of the people on our team who made this had never played any of those games. I had never played a farming game before. Um, Ken, who's our modeler, he's not really into those types of games either. Um, I don't know about Kyrie and Alan. I think they're more like action RPG people, so it's just funny that, you know, really Rainy was the only one who'd played those those games. I ended up going and playing Stardew and I played Persona. Um so I could, you know, at least get caught up. But Yeah. That's why we pulled some from such random games, because those are the games that I had played. Those are the games that Ken had played, you mm -hmm. know. I didn't like Stardew the first time I played it. I actually very much didn't. And then I played it on my own time sometime, and now I have like yeah. 2,500 hours in it, so. Dang. I'll be honest, I I respect Stardew Valley. I respect Eric Baroni and what he's done. I just don't like it as a game. I The fact that it's very directionless is just, it leaves me like wondering what I want to do. Um, I feel like there's also it, the the systems lend more towards like a capitalism simulator mm -hmm. than like a laid back farming game. Yeah, you know. And so that was what we we really wanted this to be a laid back like farming life game. Yeah, I did. I think the one thing I fought the hardest for was to, to not make it into a capitalism simulator. That's and fair. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, put your own twist on it. 
And Cherry says they never heard of Persona, must really live under a rock. I've heard of it, but I've never played it either, and I'm afraid I'm now going to be kicked off the team by Rainy. Oh, I had never played it either. Oh, okay. I, never mind, no, I guess I'm never safe once again. I had never even heard of it. Rainy had to explain to me what it was. And he kept talking about it so much, that finally he's like, I'm just going to go buy it. Like, I just need to- so I went and bought, um, five royal. And I haven't even finished it. I think I got, like, a quarter of the way through, and I just kind of- it was a little too much for me. There's there's way too much going on. As as much as, I, again, I have respect for Persona, it's like, it feels like too many cooks in the kitchen type situation. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just so many things for you to do, and none of it's cohesive, and it's just a little overwhelming for somebody like me who's a completionist at heart. So, <laughs> too much. I'm gonna buy, like, 30, maybe 40 matcha lattes, okay? And I need y'all to mind Do your it. business. I'm kidding. Do it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but let's go to Heroes to get our phone fixed. And this is all stuff, once again, that was already in the thing from yesterday, so that's why yep. I'm kind of not talking about it and stuff, too, because seen it. She's trying to get to day two so that we can get past <laughs> past my my internet going out. Um, yeah, I've heard about that I might do well with other personas. The thing is, I don't have time anymore for games. Maybe I'll get back to that point, but right now it's all about making them and less about playing them. Um, I have been playing Civ 6 lately. Nice. So that's laid back, slow, don't really have to think about anything. Mm -hmm. But... But yeah, as far as it's, as somebody said, it's interesting that I got into Sunnyside. It's actually a really weird long story um, <laughs> that I think I've told a few times. Um, but the short version of it is I had Humble Bundle. Through Humble Bundle, I got um, my time at Porsche. Played it, loved it. And then they were coming out with my time at Sandrock. So I did the Kickstarter for that, and then from that I found the Kickstarter for Coral Island. Looked awesome, backed that, and then I found the Kickstarter for Sunnyside. Backed that, so I backed like all three at once. Um, and then I used to be a chef, and I had disliked the cooking in uh, my time at Porsche. So I actually messaged all three of them, I was just like, hey, I'm a chef, I'm out of work right now because it's a pandemic. I was like, you know, if you need some help designing menus or something, I'd love to volunteer. And uh, Rainy was the only one who said yes. And now, three years later, I wrote the game. I own the company. <laughs> I was the producer. It was a weird journey <laughs> over the last few years. But uh, we got a really good game out of it at the end, so. It's a beautiful journey. Oh yeah, you are doing those speedrun strats, look at you. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. No, it's perfect. That's I, great. I, I Let me preface this by saying that I've been doing a lot of QA testing, so I've I've been I've gone through the game like hundreds of times. So if I instinctively click through things too quick, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm used to holding down space bar. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, hospitality. I went through this conversation, so... You'll have to slow down after day two, though. Okay. I will do that. Um... Gonna need all the help you can get. Rude. But not wrong. <laughs> Food and shelter... Yes. Should I be taking notes? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Don't want to overwhelm me. I literally just bought a place in the middle of nowhere <laughs> by myself. I'm already over- Exactly. You know how to cook, right? Not at all. I think I burned ramen once. Right. <laughs> anyway, so- Wait, did I write that or did you add that in? No, that was literally what you wrote. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> You're like, wait, that's a really great line. Who did that? That happens all the time. I'll, I'll, you know, watch you guys testing or 
something and I'll see something. Like, oh, that was really funny. Did I write that? Oh, no, that was me. Because we had two other writers on the team. Um, and so I didn't write everything. I think I wrote about 85% probably. Um, but I tend to forget stuff that I wrote. I mean, that makes sense. There's a lot of writing it's in here. Yeah. There's a lot. It's kind of overwhelming. I don't know how... Yeah, I think we're like 200,000 words or something like that. It's something a novel, ridiculous. basically. Really? Yeah, it really is. Wrote 85%, yeah, edited did... 100%. Yeah. yeah. I did edit all of it. Love Cat. Just being like, oh... I mean, I don't blame her for just, like, being here, because it is beautiful. It's gorgeous, yeah. Who's this? I'm sorry, but who are you? Such a hater. <laughs> At your tent, I guess. I like to come by and paint or do homework here. It's never been a problem because no one owned the place, but, well, I don't want to bother you. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's alright, as long as you don't mess with anything. Oh, thank you. The fresh breeze over the hill is just so refreshing. And honestly, I'm really happy someone finally bought the land again. My grandmother was really good friends with the original owners that used to live here a long time ago. The kids moved away when I was really little, and I guess their parents passed away a few years ago. Grandma used to say they never showed any interest in the place, and that property wouldn't stay in the family. I guess she was right. I hear there have been a lot of people on and off the land ever since and that a lot of families have been leaving Sunnyside for better opportunities in the city. Not me, though. I love it here. It's so peaceful. Samesies. I, I think this is the only scene that has- the dialogue has not changed since the alpha. Okay, so I, I won't- Everything else is the same, and, or, or it is, has been changed, but I think this is the only one that I don't think- I, I think it's only changed it. position, dialogue. right? Like, yeah, the position this changed, area is the only thing. the same. Okay. Once again, yesterday this was covered in more detail. If y'all want to read through that, but I'm gonna get through the stuff that they got through already. All right. So now on the list is to plant potatoes and to wait for plant the strawberry potatoes. seeds. Plant those potats. Plant the potats. This is, I was telling Shar yesterday, this is my favorite part of watching people play, is just seeing where you put stuff. Putting the first two potatoes. Yeah, like, where do you put your first two potatoes? I like to put them near the hose, just for convenience. Mm. Alright. So, for the rest of today, we still have a few more hours before it's gonna be getting too late, so... I think we're just gonna go do a bunch of foraging so we have money. Um, I forage know some run. Forage, forage. Uh, so we'll be doing that. But if there's anything I've never seen your, you want to see, I've never seen your forage route, so I'm actually really interested. Um, there's quite a few things, and I mean, I haven't really been doing it recently since I've been doing so many like just testing things and not actually needing money. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of forage that you can get. And There's so much forage. I want to be able to have the option to build some stuff. Um, so I want to be able to have money. Money, 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 money. Money! <laughs> Alright, so let's just grab these on, what do you call it? Berry row or something? What do we call it? I, I call it berry row, yeah. There you go. I, I think it works. I think it's a fitting name. Oh! Anyway, um, <laughs> I love the waddles on the on the ducks and the way that the chickens run, how they like put their head yeah. and they they look like they're like Naruto running kind of. It, <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> it makes me really happy. <laughs> I never thought about that, but they told to me it looks. I like feel like charging. I need to find it now. I need to find one but... now to show you guys what I mean. I never. You're totally right. They definitely. You they can are. have your own ducks, absolutely. Yeah, this little- you, it to, I never thought about that, it totally looks like a Naruto run. That's amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. You can have a pet duck and you can pet the duck. So. 
It's a beautiful thing. Oh, did I already get that one? Couldn't remember where I jumped over already. And I could continue to check out that little forest there, but I may just head to the to the beach. Yeah, I know the beach is your the beach is my jam. So, and also Everybody sorry for the knows. clicky clackies on the keyboard. I just got a new keyboard that's, that's actually... extra clicky clacky. Oh, I was gonna say it's not that loud, but I'm hearing you through keyboards. And I'm yeah, fine. so if that's irritating, fire me. I'm so sorry. And I haven't made a new noise gate that cuts it out yet. My old keyboard was fine, but my old keyboard had issues, and I need to repair it. Everyone knows that Naruto running makes you go faster. It's a fact. Absolute fact. I love seeing it in, like, other anime. It's always makes me smile. You want to see rain in this stream, too? And maybe round by the insect lab? And grab CB2. Oh, heck yes. We can do all those beautiful things. You're speaking her language, Ken. I was about to say, I, I love all of those things, actually. So, <laughs> we'll do that. Ooh. Like I said, excuse jitteriness. I didn't get to test this with a stream stream before I stream streamed it. Stream stream. Yeah. I mean, I could test streaming other games, but I didn't obviously want to have this streaming for a test, so... Um, so just ignore that. Just ignore that. It's fine. Bye, Kazuki. Uh, yes, chestnuts are in the game, Ken. Do you remember I was telling you that area that I wanted to turn into a forest? Yes. I did it. Yay. There's chestnuts over there, if you want some. Wait. I didn't know that- I thought it was gonna be something that you had to plant. Chestnuts? No. They're forageables. Chestnuts roasting- I'm sorry. <laughs> so... Yeah, we'll cut- we'll collect some of these berry bushes berries, as well. Berries, berries. Uh, so I'm just getting berries to sell, mostly, uh, so we can do some things in-game. But, you also get a nice little leisurely stroll by the, by the beach. Doing yeah, a Izzy, manicure. Yeah, this Ooh. game is- this game is beautiful at night, and it's- it causes us issues when we're trying to, like, make trailers and stuff, because we want to show it at night because it's so pretty, but like, it's called sunny side. So, <laughs> so we're like, we have to like meter how much we show it in, in like advertising. Yeah. It's, it's a weird it's problem. Tough. Yeah, cause we're like, if we would have chosen a, diff a different name, then it would be fine, but it does kind of go against the name. Sunny night, <laughs> rainy side. <laughs> Yeah, those those are great. I also I moved all of the seaweed, so I think they're all more easy to get to now. You moved all of them? I was so about to say I'm like then I maybe I don't know the there. Rocks. Oh, okay. No, 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 I just pulled them out of the rocks a little bit. Beautiful. So I can get even more seaweed yeah. now. Should be able to. I think you just run past them. Did I? I don't know. Now I don't know. Now I don't know where it is. I was about to say, now I don't know where it is either. Especially if you don't know where it is and you put it there. <laughs> but. Yeah, my memory's garbage though. It's okay. Oh, here's some. I'm just, you know, the new barefoot farmer in town. Um, running through the water. Seaweed. Yeah. Well, no big deal. You can't grab that one. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, though. We well, we're gonna have more than enough money for what we need to do. So. Oh yeah, look at all those berries. Look at all those berries. And that wasn't even a full run. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, Izzy, yeah. You don't pass out the first night. Um, oh, maybe I did move all of it. I thought I did. It's okay. Lies. I have ways. Yeah. Um, so you, you, but yeah, you, you pass out and you wake up at home. We don't take anything from you, though. You don't. We don't take your money or anything like that. You just, um, I think you wake up with, I think, less stamina? energy filled. I think you, yeah, you wake up with, like, half stamina instead of full stamina. That's, that's the only downside. Yeah. God, there's a lot of seaweed over there. I might need to reduce that. <laughs> I told you, I told you this, there's more, Dang. there's, there's even more. There's even more. I'm headed there right now. That's what I'm saying. If, if you want mm -hmm. to make money lot. just by foraging, you technically could. You totally can. 100. It's definitely a viable option. But it doesn't come back every single day either. So, I mean. No. I think it's like every three days. And, you know, you may want to save this stuff for cooking, too. You may not want to sell it. Yeah. Because these are used for some recipes. And... Um... That should be good. I mean, we kind of, kind of have a lot here. Love the water so much, Beautiful. isn't it gorgeous? Oh, and Ken wanted to see the uh, field lab, so here we are. Now he can see the field lab. More berries. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, here's the field lab, and it's in a nice, like, secluded area of its own. Makes sense. And it is very cute. I don't know, remember how much of this had been shown already, like on streams and stuff, but it is a very cool spot, you know? Little seedling starting spots and all kinds of fun stuff. Julie, hello. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you're doing amazingly. So I just realized, I'm not sure I know how to... What? I am not used to Twitch. <laughs> I may be able to help with that. Yeah. If you got some. You can even DM it if it's not something you want oh, to I'll yell about. Figure it out. And I like to jump got off it. of things. There's no fall damage, but you can ragdoll. There's even more berries. I will resist the urge, though. Um, <laughs> they do exist, though. Very pretty area. And this is actually one of my favorite areas over here as well. Uh, up on this rock. Is it this rock? No. What's the biggest free fall you can do? Oh, I have no idea. It's funny because Rainy and I have gone back and forth over and over and over again about having ragdoll mechanics. I don't want them because I like to jump off of stuff. He thinks they're hilarious. So, um, I guess I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? I, I, I love jumping off stuff in games though. I do too. I really w there's a few places in this game where I wish y'all would allow us to jump off of, but there's like things yeah. saying no, and I'm like I get and I see why I shouldn't be able to do that, but I want to I want to jump. <laughs> like I won't say where, but there's somewhere like in the caves. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That I exactly I just I want to I want to jump down there. Yeah, I know I know exactly which one you're talking about, but I understand. I get it. Okay, but anyway, um, it's a really pretty area over here, and this is another place where you can get resources as well, like wood and berries and- All oh, the things. Oh. Yeah, all the things. But we're gonna head back to the farm now that we've done some foraging. And we're gonna sleep and do the next stuff for the quests. Oh, if you're gonna run down the, the road, um that you're running down, uh, you'll be able to stop and grab some chestnuts. Oh. Under I the thought chestnut it, trees. I thought that... I thought the place that you said that you were going to have it was the place by Gabe. 
No, this area. This is all forest. You can chop down all of this stuff now. Oh. And then the big, like, bushy trees, these are all chestnut trees. So if you go... Those? You have to go underneath the trees. Um, and their chestnuts are very small. You have to just kind of, like, look for them. But they're there. Not the, like, V-shaped trees. The, like, willowy-looking ones. Okay. The, the weird, like, V-shaped ones are um, oak trees. This willowy kind of guy? <gasps> Maybe? Yes, behind nice you behind it's roasting. Did you find him? No open fire. Yes. Hey, you found him. <laughs> awesome. Sorry for, oh for that. Every time I hear that song, I always think of a, a inappropriate joke that I heard about that song, and it's the only thing I can think of. Now. Tisk tisk. I'm kidding. No. Um, but yeah, I I feel you. Mind goes there sometimes. Rectaling yeah. should just be for really high jumps. Well, you don't always ragdoll just like falling from places, but you can definitely. Especially from high places. Um, I'm a menace and I just like climb through everyone's yard and everything, so <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Uh, Ninja, uh, yes, no was the character that I was playing, so Hidden's playing her own character. R.I.P. Yes, no. They're not dead, they're just not here right now. R.I.P. Yes, no. This is hidden. I'm not good at names. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Um, this isn't, um, that's actually the one part of the map I'm not familiar with is the residential area back there. I get mixed up back there because oh. I don't go there very often. Fair. But. <laughs> the rival mafia found them. <laughs> hey, welcome in Gigi. If I didn't say that already. Yes, no, is maybe dead. It's a yes no kind of thing, yeah. Mm. Mm. What is Hero doing? Where was he? Just staring at a wall. Cause they do that sometimes. You know, there could have been something cool on there. I'm not judging. Possible. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> All right. We are almost back home. There's a duck. He's doing a really good job at Duck Duck Goose. He's, they're never gonna catch him. <laughs> that's not even how you play the game, but that's how they play it. Don't judge. Staring at a wall is better than a meeting about you. Right? <laughs> they were having a secret meeting about us yesterday that we were not invited so to. Funny. I've never seen them- I've seen them group up in some spots. It usually happens on festival days. Mm -hmm. I've never seen them all group up in that spot. That was really funny. Yeah, I hadn't seen that before either, so who knows what's going on. But... I guess a secret meeting was going on. That's what it was. I guess so. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And you already went through the strawberry seed yep. tutorial and everything. Yep. Oh. Yep. So we'll skip right through that. Do you want to see it? Check out the VOD from yesterday. I'll keep on saying it. And then I was gonna build out my lovely farm after buying <laughs> seeds with everybody. I'm sorry. Stupid internet. I'll do some farming today. I'm excited about the farming. So if there's anything that y'all want me to try growing in particular, let me know. If y'all don't know, there is um, there are some restrictions on what I will be able to grow at first. Because you gotta get your farming skill gotta, up. Gotta get that experience. Yeah, so we won't be able to get everything that y'all want. But I was trying to click through that slow and I remembered I don't need to do that. So, today's agenda, open up the journal, we need to go to Tech Hero, and then on Sunday we're going to go to the farmer's market. But we're just going to go ahead and head over towards that, um, and I guess we could answer this text from Kat. Oh, you gotta sell your berries too. Yes, I gotta do that so I can buy some buy stuff. Already level four exploration. I be running. That's if there's one thing about me, <laughs> I be running, and I be jumping. And running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Okay, so we got the Sunny Seed app now. I'm not gonna open it quite yet though, because I'm going to sell 
all of our goodies so we have money to buy all of the goodies. All the herbs, we can do that. I will buy all the ones that I am able to grow. Which may actually be a lot. But we'll, I'll do it. Do, 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 do. We still have a little bit of time before Sako opens. Which... Let me check. Opens at 10. So we will... We will rock you. A little bit of time before Dude opens as well. So, do I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite things in the game. A build buildable thing. Where is he? Where is he? I'm coming for you. Play toad. <laughs> I, whenever I saw them for the first time, <laughs> if y'all would have seen me, I like audibly gasped. I was just like, oh, they're perfect. I can model those. They're I asked perfect. Ken for some some cute uh, garden decorations, and that's what he gave me. It's so good. He gave me it was a lawn toad. It's perfect. It's literally all. I, I need. told him it was. I told him it was very Irish of him. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a very Irish choice. <laughs> the ratings of the shops? Yes, the shops have ratings and stuff. Yep. Um, and tells you how many reviews of different things and all of that jazz. It tells you when they're open and closed. Important information. Yes, it is important because... If not, you'll get there and you'll just be waiting like I am right now, but it's okay. Let's go say hi. Yeah. Um, and all the potatoes too. We will have a potato empire. Yes. Grow all the potatoes. And they keep on multiplying, so you're kind of just set. That's why we give you potatoes at the beginning, because you could technically play the whole game without buying any seeds. Then you forget to water it or you accidentally step on it and now it's dying and all you can do is dig it up. <laughs> That's not just me. Although, after I throw away a drawing I messed up, I wonder, was it really dead or did I just give up on it? Dang. That's some philosophical stuff to... <laughs> I gotta say, Kat has the best daily dialogues, I think. She was kind of the first character written, so she just got way more effort than everybody else, I think. Because you were, like, fresh and, like, ready. Yeah. Just down. Do the thing. I think that that particular line, though, I think was written by our other writer. Um, her name's Jade. She did a lot of the daily dialogues. Uh, especially for Kat. I love the flowers here. Um, Kat did get all the word counts, that's true. We actually had to cut Kat's dailies um, almost in half because we finished writing it and we we're like, we can't give her 5,000 words. That's way too much. No one tells Sydney that <laughs> I'm running through the flowers. Dialogues. <laughs> How dare you, you heathen. Well, you're barefoot. It's okay. Oh, it is? Okay. You're, cool. being, one, you're being one with nature. It's fine. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. You're not running around in combat boots. You're good. I'm that annoying customer who's just like showing up at the door the minute, <laughs> like just waiting for you to open. Um, so now this is how y'all make stonks. And we're gonna have the things. But this is necessary because I'm trying to show y'all stuff and we need money for that. Okay. Those chestnuts look so good. They really do. How much do they sell for? I'm not going to, but. Oh, that's an interesting. Yeah, so we got money now. I wasn't planning on going crazy like that, but I mean, Sydney message or mentioned like you know go all the speed it. running I'll stuff, so go for it. I'm like, okay, yeah. okay, you do you, boo. We got a few people here, so let's also just say hi. We've already seen here, but let's say hi again. 
without oak and waters, I think Sunnyside would have died out years ago. Okay. Okay, hero. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you live around here? Yeah. You a tourist? Can I help you with something? Oh, no. I just moved to town. Oh, yeah? You buy one of those old farms? I did. That's cool. Hope it works out for you. Thanks. I live across from the mill. If you ever want to hang out or anything like that. I accidentally clicked through that. He probably said, hit me up and we'll hang out. I'll keep that in mind. We'll see you around. I have an older mouse too that likes to double click sometimes, so. Oh, you still have that problem? I do. I do. That's funny. It's a thing. This, but I've already bought two of these mice. Um, oh wait, I'm- You could, um, I mean, when you're going through dialogue, just do spacebar instead. This is true. So you don't run the risk of accidentally. Yeah, I'll try to do that from now on just to be safe. Yuma. <laughs> yes, okay, we'll find Yuma. We will find Yuma. Let me talk to Hero first. We'll do that. Ryan just standing around like a creeper. All these hotties and you want to marry all of them? I mean, valid. Fully valid. I gotta find out why the player is not showing it. See, it's really driving me nuts. You already went through this cutscene too in any way yesterday. I did, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yep. And then my internet died while I was running back to the farm to plant stuff. For everybody who was there yesterday, I fully intended to stream for like another two hours. And I was very upset that my internet- my internet literally died while I was feeding the cats. So bummed. So rude. So rude. I'm just gonna buy one packet. Just buy one of everything. <laughs> That's gonna take Make me sure. years to- No, plant. one of all the- the- the beginner stuff. Not everything. And make sure you get a lemon tree. It's yes. very important. Yeah, my internet. I mean, internet if anybody happens die. to live in the Austin area in Texas, um, you you feel my struggles. There is a particular internet company here that's just garbage. Everybody has it. Oh, Ninja wants an apple tree too, so you gotta get an apple tree. We can do that. Oh, have I been getting too much advanced stuff? I think you might have, yeah. Lemon balm. Yeah. So they're starting in order, with lemon balm. So yeah, there's a okay. You know, I don't know if we have apple cider in the game. I don't think so. We have apple wine. I don't think we did apple cider. Mm. Do we have apple wine? Shit, now I don't know. That's a great question. I haven't dabbled too much in that, to be honest. Yeah, I don't either. Blasphemy! I know. So... That. So let's go to... Um, fruits. We wanted an apple tree. And a lemon tree. I think we can also plant lime. Also do that. And also do that. We already got strawberries. See, there's a lot of stuff you can grow to begin with. Oh yeah, there's a ton. I think it okay, ends... Ends with tomato. Tomatoes, yeah. For the fruits. And then this should end with poppies. Nope. Sunflower. Yep. Yeah. Poppy's the next level. Blasphemy. Love the seed variety. And these are just the ones for this season, too. There's yeah. different ones for different seasons. I think we have 113 different things that you can grow. I wanted to have more. There was a, originally, I think, 135. Um, and I heavily cut it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta cut it. Yeah. We originally had pineapple, we had coconut, I cut both of those. Um, we had lentils, I cut that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. We had to we had to bring it back a little bit. I got a little too excited with the with planning out the grow varieties. 
see if we get any can I even grow what you call it yet? Mm. Uh, Sweet potatoes? Rice? No. Rice, uh, it's not in season. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to do same day delivery? I'm going to probably be doing a lot of running around today, so maybe I'm just going to do next I mean, day. You can, you can afford it. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I should just go ahead and do that. Okay. You could definitely afford it. Yeah. It's, it will do that just for ease. Oh, potatoes? We have two potatoes already. I mean, we, we could get more potatoes, though. Oh, tat. Oh, tots. What is he doing? Who? Him? Yeah, just... He's just waiting for me to say yeah. something. He's like, damn, okay, you're not gonna even introduce yourself? That's crazy. <laughs> hey there. Hi. Name's Ryan. Hello, Ryan. I'm new to town. You guys actually are look like a super cute couple. This these I characters. Say. Yes. I mean, that could Definitely be arranged. Definitely some similar aesthetics going on. It is like the green and the yeah. It's just the vibes. We both got a little backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Laid back vibes. Um, I dig <laughs> it. That's that's a perfect couple right there. Are you shipping us right now? I am. Oh my god. Oh, I need a. Finish the build station blueprint. So we are going to head back to the farm to do that. Um, and we're doing that because Hero told us that we need to add a laptop to our build station yep. to be able to use our drone to build things at our farm. That is some fast shipping. We love to see it. Thank you. <laughs> that could be range. And like I said, we're going to go... I haven't forgotten about Yuma yet. I have to head that direction anyway in a minute. So I'm going to wait until we go that way. To go try to say hi to Yuma. But we will be doing that. And then we'll probably do some planting... When I get back from all of that, or tomorrow. <laughs> they shipped it faster than you can run home. For real, they were, I'm like, you guys could have picked me up on the way. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, so now we can actually use the drone to do laptop, laptop building stuff um we don't have anything unlocked yet but it does exist now we can do that <laughs> and so now we need to talk to philip at hoshi woodworks which is right near the mill so we can go say hi to yuma for you guys on the way over there your farm right <laughs> Yuma is wanted right now at least I know Cherry likes Yuma do, do, do. I thought about swimming there but maybe I won't <laughs> maybe maybe risky So I'm going to, I will take another route though, because we've been going down the main walkway a lot. I Once do like that bridge. bridge. It is a good bridge. It's a good bridge. We modeled this whole bridge after an actual bridge um, nice. that we found, because like for a lot of the research we just would get on Google Earth and just like fly around Japan and there was a little town in the mountains that had a bridge and we were like that's perfect we're gonna model our bridge off of that that'd be fun I love going into Google Earth every once in a while yeah. and just clicking on a random place and just like yeah. looking around and being like huh I wonder what life's like there mm -hmm. 
Oh, maybe stop by the fishing shop too. True. Fishing has to be unlocked though, so you can't. We could stop by the build. shop, but we can't start yeah, fishing. Can't really buy anything yet. Okay, come on, game. Boo. I mean, you unlock it, so you'll still get it. It's just not immediate. Gotta work for it. Okay, so this is caught up to where stuff you haven't done yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is Philip. What can I help you with? Well, I'm looking to add some buildings to my property. Hero gave me a cool drone to help me plan. But you need building blueprints if you're gonna plan anything. Is that about right? Right. And he mentioned that I used to be an architect. That's right. Good old Hero always looking out for everyone. Sure, I can help you. Name's Philip. That's great, thank you. Of course, I don't just have a bunch of farm building blueprints lying around, so I'll need some time to plan something for you. Oh, that makes sense, of course. Although, when we first moved to town, I was inspired that by that old tea house on your property. Tea house? Well, yes, it's a bit ruined now, isn't it? But it used to be quite lovely. I think I messed around with making a blueprint of it years ago. Let me see if I have it around here. Ah, uh, here we go. I made a few small design adjustments, but it was a nice bit of practice for me in my younger years. I must admit, seeing it built would be very nice. Everyone in town is being so kind to me. Thank you so much, Philip. It's my pleasure. We like to help folks around here. Even if there are a f uh, fewer to help every year. Anyway, I'll start drawing up some ideas for you. The first few are on the house, but I'm afraid I'll have to start charging you at some point. Of course, I'd be happy to support your business. Oh, designing buildings isn't my business. I'm a carpenter now. Oh. So when you need processed lumber for those builds, come to me, all right? Bring me the raw material and I'll even give you a discount. Don't go chopping down any cherry trees around town though, all right? Got it, I don't even have an ax anyway. Yeah, sorry, I don't process metal. You'll need to see Master Ishikawa for that. That's the blacksmith. Cat mentioned him, where does he live? Do do do, take the road from my place, hang a right. Um, let's cross the road from Heroes. And I'm gonna pin it. Thank you, Philip. See you later. Uh, do I want to go ahead and buy anything while I'm here, actually? I may do just that. Um... I always buy all the, like, barriers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, there are quite a few. I haven't really messed with the raised beds at all, either. I'm kind of curious about those. Yeah, grab one. I always buy the hose and lights first, and the boxes. Those are the first things I buy. Getting, I'm getting those as well. True, it is good to have an extra hose too, in case if you want. Yeah. Um, Never know. Maybe get some lights as well. I like those out. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm gonna get the display as well, in case if we get any plushies Never know. that we want to display. And let's get some plastic boxes for storage. And Gotta have those boxes. I love these new barriers, you, by the way. How do you like the new uh, layout on the shop? Oh, I love it. Great, right? I love it, and being able to only show available items is super helpful. Yeah, it's really nice. So, I am here for it. Shout out to Ken. He made us a bunch of packs. Thank you, Ken. Fences. Yeah, they, they look amazing. I lo yeah. I freaked out last time that I saw all the new uh, buildables on there. I was like, oh my god. So many things, because you know me, that's like the main thing that draws me to a lot of games is being able to build and stuff. So, so that was exciting for me. That was a good time. We should get an axe, eh? Yes. That is what we're headed to do right now. So let's head to Master Ishikawa. 
aka Kazuki. And he'll let us know the things. Let me see Melody running away from us. Okay. I see how it is. Fine. You don't want to be my friend. Oh, I lied about Yuma. Oh, we forgot about Yuma. I'm so sorry. Yes, we are running around barefoot. It is the only hidden way. Yeah, it's just how I roll. <laughs> it's how I roll. So, which is unfortunate because there are some really cute shoe designs. But I had already. There really are. I had become, like, I had already made this my thing, and I can't really back out now because it's it's already a thing. Don't go back. Keep on your task. Oh no, it's fine. I got time. I should have time, and if not, there's always tomorrow. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be here, though, or... I would assume so. Oh, I, is that him? Please. Yuma! It's Yuma. <laughs> Yuma! Hey, you must be the new farmer in town. He's just working, you know. He's just working. Being working. the grain daddy that he is. Hopefully you don't mind me saying that, do you? <laughs> What? Grain daddy. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, community made it and ran with it. I'm not Okay, I'm just complain. making sure, just because, you know, I'm technically streaming for y'all and stuff. I don't want to be... I think it's funny. Okay, I'm I just mean... making sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. Um, I, I remember the first time that was said in chat, and I was like, oh my god, that is hilarious. Or at least I think it was the first time. Name's Yuma. I own the mill down by the lake. That's nice. We sell all kinds of milk products, grains, sugar, even tea. You be sure to come by and get anything you need, okay? Sure. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Everyone in town is pretty friendly, even if it takes a few of them some time to warm up to you. That's good to know. Thanks, Yuma. Anytime. I'll see you around. Let's hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. You asking me on a date? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Alright. We'll head back. <laughs> You'll fight me? Oh my god. Okay, maybe we won't. I forgot I was already shipped with Ryan. This character's been shipped with Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. I'm so sorry, Ryan. You don't know this, but we're... We're a thing. You just didn't know that. Yeah, some of the town takes a while to warm up. Ha, ah, cough. Echo. Yeah. Go, exactly. Hanago. We love her. I mean, Miami does warn you. She does give you warning. She's like, Miami gives you a hard time. She knew what was gonna happen. She knew the Hanako was paying the butt. Let's see? I was supposed to say, I don't know if it'll trigger this or not. But no, I don't think he closes until like nine or something. I think he closes. I think you, like, just made it. Perfect. We had just enough time for Yuma. It was meant to be. Okay. Yep. It was definitely meant to be. <laughs> How can I help you? Well, Philip said you were the person to see for forged metal. Ah, uh, he would be correct. Good man, Philip. So, how does this work? Quite simple, really. Bring me raw metal ore, and I will smelt it into whatever shape you want. Sometimes I even have ready-made pieces available, though they're often a, a bit more expensive. That sounds easy enough. I don't suppose you have an axe for sale. I do not, no. Oh. I do, however, have a machete. The order was canceled after I'd already made the billet, you see. Oh, that would be great. How much? For a young farmer looking to live an honest life, no charge. It's my gift to you. Really? Yes. Helping you start your journey would be an honor. It's not the strongest cutting tool, as it can- it can't really handle any hardwoods. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by this tune. <laughs> this is one actually- one of my favorite tracks on, um, in the overworld, I should say. Can we show the yeah, hot springs? We could, yeah, we could definitely go to the hot springs. Need a snack? Could you snack? <laughs> the hot springs aren't- fully operational. There's some bugs in them, so... So I was thinking just, like, run by. Maybe just do a little run by, drive by? A little okay. run by. Okay, we can do that still, though. 
but it should provide you with a good start if you'd like anything more durable and need time and materials to make it. Materials like raw metal ore? Correct. But where do I even find raw ore? Uh, now you're asking the right questions. There's a network of abandoned caves near the old Hana Gardens, absolutely rich with ore. Occasionally I will venture in there myself for a bit of mining. I even have a spare pickaxe you can have to get you started. You know, a few industrious companies from the city have tried to turn those old caves into mines over the years, but to no avail. Metal, you know, is one of the oldest and most important materials in the history of this earth. Humans have been working with it for centuries. My own family has been smithing in Sunnyside for the last eight generations, pulling metal from those very caves, in fact. My father was a craftsman, and his father before him. He goes into some lore drop here. Should we go the lore drop, or should we just cut him off? Uh, do the lore drop, I think. Lore drop? Yeah. Okay. It's a rockin' tune for Kazuki. It really is. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. Ah, uh, you think so? Yeah, I think it'd be nice to hear the history of my new home. Ah, uh, yes. The old... How do you pronounce this? Ogata? The, I think so, yeah. Okay, because I was like... I've always just guessed that. Ah, uh, yes. The old Ogata the land. The thing I've noticed with Japanese, and this is from a foreigner who's never spoken it, but um, once you start to understand, like, each symbol is like a... Usually a, a one or two letter sound. And once you start to pick up on that, you kind of can quickly assume how words are going to be sounded out. Mm -hmm. If that and makes I mean, any sense. Well, yeah, and I mean, it was written in English from another language. So, like, it's usually, like, phonetically kind of spelt out Yeah. anyway. So, like, so. a word like this wouldn't be Ogata, because that's not how you pronounce Japanese. So, it's probably, like, Ogata. But yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a Japanese speaker, unfortunately. If anyone wants to correct me the cam, but I will keep on calling it Ogata. No worries, pass. And no worries at all. Take your time. Doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Correct. Their family originally owned that land of yours, but the last of them passed um, years ago. As a result, the property defaulted to the town ownership. There have been quite a few owners since then. Oh, I see. But now it's you. And now it's me. You seem unsure. Are you not a farmer? I guess? Well, it seems we will soon find out. By the way, have you met my lovely wife yet? I'm not sure. I love whenever he talks about his wife, like, in, like, daily dialogues and stuff, too. It's cute. Um, well, if you find any gemstones down in those caves, give them to my Chiyo. She's the best jeweler in the whole prefecture. If she likes you, she might even take custom orders. Thank you. I accidentally clicked through something again. Bite me, I'm sorry. You're very welcome, young farmer. I hope you'll come back to chat with me sometime. All right, so now we have a machete and a pickaxe. I like to put my machete and my knot together. So, next thing on the agenda is the caves. I don't know if we have enough time to run to the springs tonight. We may save that for another time to do a run by or maybe whenever I can get there faster, if you know what I mean. Um, farming, farming. Yeah, we'll or do caves. That. Caves is good too. Well, we'll start the caves thing. How about that? Because I don't. Because you didn't get to touch on that yesterday. Did so. you go pick up your um, seeds from your seat, your mailbox? I have not yet. You might want to do that. Okay. Sometimes I know they can bug out. So. And we'll, if you we'll go be, to the caves, we'll you're gonna get stuck in cutscenes and stuff. That's a good point. That's a good point. I was just getting to the groove and then it went to farm music. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me sometimes. Male pirates in Sunnyside, too. Yeah, they'll get you sometimes. It's a small town, too, so who's doing it? How- 
How rude. It's okay. I need to get some cardio anyway. Welcome back, Cherry. What kind of snacks did you get to snack on? There's a fox. You can chase him. You can chase him. Or you can run with him. I'm faster than you, dude. Okay. Uh, but he does have invisibility abilities, so he wins there. We have so many seeds. So many seeds. So All the seeds. I got pretty much everything that we can grow uh, at our level for this season. So we'll, we'll put those up. I'm gonna keep the trees together. Do, 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 do. And the beautiful thing about this game is there's actually seed packets instead of just seeds because you know usually whenever you buy seeds it'll be in a pack of seeds which i just think is so great and it also makes i always didn't think it made sense in games whenever like it's like 80 dollars for uh, a single seed me. and i'm like why it's literally well, not like that me. Um, there is eventually a bike, a, a moped, and a car. So, you just start out with walking the first, like, three or four days, I think. Depends on how fast you play it. Yeah. I think you can get it day three. That way when you get the bike, you get the bike, you really, you really feel the impact. <laughs> the upgrade. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, it's like a reward. Duck. duck, duck, goose. Can't wait for you to play too. I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this, and I hope everyone loves it as much as I do. I do be loving this game. Barefoot through the flowers. We're getting close to running out of time, but we have time to do what we need to do here, so I'm just going to do that. Especially with how I'm hardcore parkour able to jump over these fences. Hardcore. Parkour. Mm. Isn't Emily so pretty? Wait, am I going the wrong way? <laughs> I, was I always take the wrong. I think it's the left. Yeah. I always take the wrong. I'm glad it's not just me. I do that a lot. Yeah, I always do that. Let's head to the good old caves. <laughs> and we do have that. Yep. I like how the music cuts out whenever you get in here and it gets dark and yeah. spooky. We did originally have a song for this level, but it just, I just, it sounds so much better with nothing. Yeah, it More like gives you that feel think. that you just went into a cave yeah. and it's like quiet and you can hear like some rumbling maybe of some like, I don't know, like water or something, but. Yeah, that like emptiness echo in your ears. Mm -hmm. oh. Cave in! Ah! And then there's I'm the so end of the excited. game. So, we died. For the record, <laughs> nobody has seen this, like, publicly. I'm, I'm very excited. What? What are you? Spa. Spar. Spark? Spark. Spark? Is that your name? <laughs> I love him. I love, I love him so much. I love Sparky. Did you rescue me? Wow, wow. Nods. Wow, thanks. I can't believe that happened. But where did you come from? 
I see. Well, we should get out of here. No! Oh? Oh, my language systems have updated. Good. You may leave. I must continue my mission. Whoa, whoa. Wait, stop. Why? This whole place is probably super unstable after that cave-in. If you mess with the walls, it might make things worse. Oh, you make a sound argument. We should get out of here. You can do, um, you can do whatever your mission is later. A couple of days will probably- Days? There's no way to know how long I've been inactive. I refuse to wait another second. No, stop. You disagree that this place isn't safe. Oh, you make a sound argument. I know. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Ouch. Are you injured? I think so. Are you? <laughs> I love him so much. Hmm. Several of my systems are not working properly. I believe we both need medical aid. Okay, luckily I know a doctor. The clinic is probably closed if it if I was out for a while, and I don't get any service in here. I'll give her a call when we're outside. Service? Yeah, on my phone. Oh, that device in your pocket? Yes, we've met. Hey, what are you doing? Interfacing, of course. Your friend is very interesting. Primitive by my standards, but impressive for humans. I wonder how long I was caught in the rubble. Year 2020. Hmm, that doesn't mean anything to me. Look, I don't want to be in here anymore. There could be another collapse or an aftershock. Can we go? Oh, right, yes. Do you require support? That would help, yes. Oh no, all the lights have gone out. Not a problem. There's your intro to the spark. Sparky! The sparky. I also, I realized after playing it that when when you say, oh no, the lights have gone out, it's just periods. So it's just like, oh no, the lights <laughs> have gone out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you're a little out of it and a little dizzy from being in a, in a collapse. Fair, fair. Maybe that's what it is. His sounds are so cute, aren't they? <laughs> Shout out to the composer, Matt. Yes, definitely. Great um, voice actor for that. <laughs> Sassy Sparky. Sparky is the definition of sass. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Farrakhan. Hope you're doing well. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, you're lucky your injuries weren't worse. What were you doing in there anyway? And what is this thing? This is Sparky. I, uh, I am Sparky. This is some kind of companion drone? Yes? Right. I love him. I accidentally clicked through some things, but she said something along the lines of, like, you need to be careful in there and take it easy and don't die. And here's some medication. And here's some medication to make you feel better. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And maybe stay out of the caves. That's the plan. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Pronounced it correctly. It's a two for two today. Since when has this happened? Work hard at you say my third thing. That is not the plan. No, wait. We agreed it was too dangerous. What is wrong with you? Oh, right. Yes. It's late. I need sleep. We'll go back later, okay? Your argument is sound. I like his little saying of, like, you make a sound argument. Or, your argument is sound. I just think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that would make, like, a good, like, sticker or something. <laughs> like, like, it would just spark you and it says, like, you make a sound argument, or your argument is sound. You make sound. a sound argument. Thing. <laughs> Good morning. Did you just watch me sleep? Of course not. I went into low power. Anyway. To the caves! Sparky, no! Why do you want to get down there so bad? What is down there? And while we're at it, what are you? I am Sparky... Spark... Sparkatic... Survey drone number four. I can never say that. 
My prime directive is to collect human intelligence to determine their nature. Their nature? The nature of humans is to be studied. Data is needed. My prime directive is to collect human intelligence to determine their nature. Sparky? Uh... Sparky, are you okay? What happened? You went all... robotic. What an odd feeling. It seems... What did you do to me? Me? I didn't do anything. I remember nothing. What do you mean? How did you find me? I... the earthquake... What did you do? Did you touch me? I mean... I remember touching a blinking light. <gasps> you did! I did what? You rebooted my program. I've never been so violated. What? To touch a Zant's reboot button? Unfathomable. I didn't mean it. I should hope not. I'm... I'm sorry? You should be. <laughs> now then. It seems you in initiated my reboot sequence when you asked what I am. And I suspect sitting in that rubble did some damage that I'm unable to repair on my own. How long was I there, anyway? Your time system confuses me. In the caves? I'm not sure. The tree we passed. Yeah? Is that the Kash Kashiwa tree? Uh, by the caves? I think it's called the Kashiwa Shrine, so yes. It's enormous. Yeah? It's probably been there for like a thousand years. A thousand? I, um... A thousand. Sparky? Sparky? <laughs> Whoopsie. Hero! Whoa, yeah? I- my- can you help? Um, sure? Whoa, what is that? It's, uh... It's... are you alright? Yeah, it's just kinda died. Died? We were talking and then the eyes went dark. Talking? Is it some kind of robot? It said it was a Zant? Whatever that is. Hmm, I haven't heard of that brand. You say it ran out of power? It didn't come with a charger? I, uh, no? Hmm, probably one of those knockoff brands. Okay, I might be able to think of something. I'll have to see what kind of charge port it has. Thank you, hero. Yeah, no problem. Might take me a few days. That's fine. Thanks again. Sure, sure. Uh, hero? Yeah. There's a red button near the base. Don't touch it. Oh. It's, a. Uh, we'll reveal all the programming and make it useless. Right. Okay, bye! Alright, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> yeah, don't mind my legs in that scene. Just ignore that. <laughs> I'll just leave it in the middle of your floor. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Um, so cool, we got, we got that done, so you guys got the official meeting Sparky thing, which is, which is fun. I forgot that people hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, Sparky has officially been unveiled. What an honor. He is now public knowledge. <laughs> Just casual robot. Yep, exactly. Oh yeah, you gotta go order your, uh, your axe from, from Kazuki. Kazuki, let me get an axe. I think you're open, yep. Yeah. That is the next thing on our list. You want to shop. And it is a service. Since we gotta like wait for him to do it. I'm gonna go down to axe. Confirm. And we did get some um, iron already from the Sparky uh, cutscene. So, if anyone was wondering where that came from. Uh, Cherry, I don't- you gotta be more specific, because we've definitely changed the layout like a million times. <laughs> oh, this shop, though? Yes. It did change, probably, since you've seen it last. Yeah, we've- we've changed, like, everything. Can I go inside the trash can? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to try. <laughs> like, am I- am I trash? I don't know. We might be able to give it interior collision. That'd be funny. 
Wasn't it right when you, uh, right when you entered the caves? I think it's like as soon as you're leaving the cutscene. This cut is the next day. Sparky. Oh, wasn't it night when you left? I misread what yeah. you said, but yes, it was night when we went. It was, yeah. And this is the next day. Can't dump yourself into the trash. So sad. <laughs> so sad. So we have ordered the axe, and now we just need to wait for it to come in. So now we can do some uh, farming in the farming. meantime. Farming, farming. Sorry, my not enough give on my mouse, so it keeps on defaulting to look upwards. <laughs> Had to yoink it a bit. Let's go ahead here, and we'll do some some farming. We'll have to clear out some space first. But I Make have sure 40 matchas. <laughs> <laughs> I just have 40 matcha lattes, and I think that will do me good. Farming in my farming game? Unlikely. Fake. The Ooh, farming design. is literally my favorite part. It's I love it. It's so relaxing. I don't even know what's the favorite part for me in this game because I mean there's just so much going on yeah, but there's a lot I always really loved the building in games um and now especially with all the new things available yeah I'm really pads. excited for that like all the new pathing and I mean there, there was just a bunch of new stuff that I I'm excited to mess with new stuff new stuff new stuff Okay, so we want to do our farm within range of our hoes. Um, there's a reason for that, Farrakhan. I don't remember. Oh, it's because, actually, um, Hidden, will you drink a matcha? And, and we could just show why the money is so much lower. There's different, like, status effects yeah. type deals. It could we could raise it a little bit. It doesn't need to be quite that low, but but that's why. There you are. So we have a bunch to plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start chopping away. Yeah, chop. No problem, Farrakhan. I got you. I got you. So we'll definitely be checking out um the oaken waters at some point. Um, but if there's anything else that anyone wants to see while you have someone that can do that for you, just just let us know. I probably should have grabbed some regular food too, but... I was wondering why you only did matcha, because like, it's not going to fill your hunger very much. Ah, uh, it's fine. I mostly do that just because of the recycled materials. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But honestly, I could use some plastic too for my, my bins. I'm gonna have to buy some plastic if I don't go get some bentos. You got the money for it. This is true. Get some fancy food. Can you get that sakos or is that a naka thing? I think sako sometimes sells it, but naka always sells it. Okay. You still only eat berries. I did too until I realized how helpful the caffeinated drinks were because it just like boosts up your stamina so quick compared to everything else no food only matcha pretty much that was me you yesterday. definitely can get by just eating berries and mushrooms it'll be kind of annoying but you can do it but your best bet's usually to keep your um hunger bar full stamina care of itself mm -hmm. and then even if you just have a sliver whoops if you just like to have a sliver of your hunger missing, then you can eat or you can drink another matcha or yeah, whatever matcha. whenever your stamina is low and it will boost it up again. Very nice. I like that this game doesn't punish you for existing. Yeah, that, and that was kind of, you know, we want there to be some kind of, you know, something to kind of slow you down a little bit, but mm -hmm. we didn't want it to be too ridiculous, so... I mean, you could clear this whole farm in a day with no problem. Um, you just have to, you know, work the strategy a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to clear out, like, from here over. And That's I what I usually do. I think that will be all that the 
hose can pretty much reach anyway for now. I did buy another hose recipe, but we would have to get, we'd have to make it and I don't have all those materials right now. Do you keep the empties? So you don't keep the empties, but you do get metal scrap from it. So you technically are keeping the empties. But it is just lumped yeah, together metal under scrap. metal scrap. Never tried coffee drinks because I don't like it IRL, so I didn't know it was useful for stamina. There that are a couple other fair. ones. I yeah, think what else there's... gives you energy? Mo anything that's like super sugary gives you energy boosts mm -hmm. too. Like I think some of the really pretty the desserts. The, yeah, like there's some really pretty drinks. She did such a good job on those little drinks. They look so refreshing. Um They're so cute. The ones with the ice, you know what I mean? Like the Yeah. In the glass and stuff. They're so cute. Shout out to our icon maker. Yes, One she did Calorie. amazing. We actually had a lot of people on the Icon team. Um, Kaori, there's Lauren, there's you. Shout out to you on the Icon team. Thanks. I am happy to be part of it. <laughs> kind of crazy. Still, for me. Oh, it's getting dark. I didn't consider this. It's only 3 o'clock. Not IRL. You got you got plenty of time, but no daylight. <laughs> I can't farming see. in the dark. Farming. Well, maybe I'll just clear it out today, and then we'll sleep, and we can be able to see for the morning. That may be a better idea, so you guys can actually see what's going on. Until I get some lighting here, because I can barely even see where. Especially if it, like, gets a little cloudy or something, it gets extra dark, I feel like. Excuse me. Had to do a cough. Never. Ugh. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think we'll just get an early sleep this this day we can see a little bit better oh look at the sunset we can definitely do that too late it's it past sunset time um also that's cloudy and then it'll be raining tomorrow for sunset time so Sunrises are really pretty too, though, but the only thing is it's hard to get down by the water quick enough to, like, see it over the water. But we should catch a sunset, though, at some point today. Try to do that. That would be a good plan. That would be nice. I wonder if my cat will make an appearance today on stream. <laughs> I hope so. If, if we can only be so blessed. I forgot we have plans today. We will still farm, okay? But we got something else we gotta do first. <laughs> I get- that's what I do in this game is I get distracted. Too many yeah, different same. things are happening. Especially early on in the game when there's like- they're trying to get you with all these different tutorials and stuff. So Gabe texted us. So much us. to teach. Yes, lots to teach. Gabe asked us if we're free today. Sure, what's up? For you, Gabe, always. Always. I'm I really there. wanted that to be the line instead of sure, what's up. I really wanted to put for you always, but... I Not didn't. everyone may feel the same way about <laughs> yeah. Gabe that we do. Yeah, I had to <laughs> reel it in a little Meet me in Higashi right now. Higashi. Yep. Where are we going? Higashi. Oh, now we get to hear that track. <laughs> so excited. Tell you when you get here. Okay. Gotta be so That's ominous about it. He is. Super ominous fellow. It's like, why are you being so secretive? 
So we're gonna head to the bus stop. Which is on the map, for the record. It wasn't, but now it is. Oh! It is on the map! Yeah. What a beautiful thing. Nice, so now you actually get a waypoint for it, too. Yep. Very cool. Yep. So I know people were... Wanting that. People were struggling. I was one of those people, I'm not gonna lie. First time <laughs> I did it, I was like, where is this thing? Which, now that I, I've replayed the game a hundred times, I... I do know, like, seeing um, the starting scene, like, you do yeah. see that you come in there and, so, like, you could figure it out, but it's nice to have my hand held from time to time. That was such a, like, debate for us, is, like, Take how a right. do we, what is Ken on about? You want me to jump into the don't water? Jump in the, don't jump in the water. You want me to jump? One like, I'll jump. I'm kidding. <laughs> at oh, the at the bridge. No, he wanted you to go downtown. Oh. No, we gotta go to... Or you mean the bridge right up here? Yeah, hey, you mean the big bridge? Mm -hmm. um, but no, I was saying it was really hard for us to decide, like, how much is too much hand-holding? Like, it's really hard to figure out. Because some people want it and some people don't. And... Yeah, this area is really pretty. This is very pretty. I love the multiple waterfalls. Mm. Mm. Gorgeous. I don't know if, if this farm will be changing at all or not, but... It, I mean, yeah, actually, I need to do a lot of work on it, so. So that's why I'm like, don't get too comfy. Yeah, it's actually going to change a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But I am a waterfall girly, so this was in the running for one of my favorite places, just because yeah. all the waterfalls. It was, um, I don't remember why I did it that way. I know I kind of went crazy with the waterfalls in this area. This is actually the because first area I ever, like, carved on the map. I think it's because you somehow sensed that I was going to be a part of, of this at some point, and you <laughs> knew I needed it. That's why. That's I, what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yep. 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 I just knew. I knew you needed it in your life. Thank you. I appreciate you doing <laughs> that for me, <laughs> personally. Me specifically. <laughs> Yeah, I remember seeing that spot actually in the Influencer Alpha, but it didn't look anything like this. And yeah, I wasn't was supposed different. to be here. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we had blocked off. Y'all blocked we it off, blocked but off I found bridge. a way. Found a way. Um, I can't help it. I'm like, I need to know what's over there and I'm gonna find a way to do it. But then you're like, hey, maybe you should tell me all the ways you sneak into places. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so I can block them off. I'm like, dang it. I'm like, all the people who are like me that like to sneak into places they shouldn't be, and I'm like, I'm I'm doing them so dirty right now by giving away all, all my secrets. All you map breakers. Yeah. We turned you into a double agent. Yeah. <laughs> I saw there's temperatures in Fahrenheit. Is there an option for Celsius? I there is. think there is, yeah. It should be under, like, general. Is yeah, it's it? just in your regular settings, yeah. If it's not in right now, it's going to be. It will be. I it can't just remember. maybe hasn't been. Unit of temperature, Might yep. be. Yeah. You can also be an imperial or metric measurement yeah. as well. Super helpful. And we're going to uh, enable um, clock changes, too, I think. What, like a 24-hour versus... Yeah. Or something. Um, map breaking is so fun, at least Wonder on purpose. Kelvin. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Kelvin, okay, scientist. So this is Higashi, which I guess we started the game Higashi. in here, so y'all have seen it. But we're meeting Gabe. Yeah, of course, Cherry. 
Where is Gabe? Day length coming Let's to. Let's just run into the road. Yes. I mean, that's where the box is, so. <laughs> Gabe. Hey there. Hey, Gabe. What's going on? Your text was kind of cryptic. Yeah, it's better that way. You said you had something about outlets. You you had said something about outlets in Higashi before. Is that why we're here? Huh? Oh, no. I wanted to introduce you to someone. All right. Dra I mean, hello, Gabriel. How are you this fine day? Hey, man. Good to see ya. And cut the crap. This is a... This is my friend Hidden. Oh, well, any friend of the dragon is a friend of mine. Don't call me that, idiot. Right, sorry. Dragon? Don't push it. Right. So what's up? Can, what can I do for you? I just wanted to introduce you two. Hidden is new to the area, understand? Got it, will do. Hidden, if there's anything you need that you can't find, just come ask my friend here. And maybe don't ask too many questions. Uh, right. Like, what kinds of things? I don't know. Stuff that's not <laughs> easy to find in Sunnyside. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, y'all were joking about Mafia characters yesterday, and I had to hold my tongue. Me too. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I want to type. I want to type. <laughs> I don't know. Stuff that's not easy to find in Sunnyside. Yeah. Hey, Hey man, you got any bikes? Only got one right now, but I've had it for a while. Why? What's wrong with it? Got some kid's name carved into it. Matt, I think. Why don't you just grind it off? It's too deep. Gonna damage the frame if I do that. Oh. You want it? I'll give it to you half price. You'll give it to me for free, seeing as you can't sell it anyway. Man, you always get me with that crap. Fine, fine. There you go, Hidden. A shiny, uh, newish bike to get you around Sunnyside. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. Hey, thanks, man. See you around. See you next time, Dra- I mean, Gabriel. It's just Gabe, man. Just Gabe. Right, right. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> My imagination went wild. Yeah, I mean, I fair, fair point, but, but yeah. <laughs> Gabe, yeah. Who was that guy? An old friend. And why did you want me to meet him? Look, I know a hard life can be on your own, and I promised I'd help you. I know he doesn't look like much, but you gotta have all the support you can get, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, you're gonna want somewhere to lock up that bike, I bet. I'm sure you can just stick some bent rebar into the ground for now. Right. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Great. Guess we should probably check out that outlet, huh? That'd be great. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> okay, Let's Mario. Go. It's, it's Mario Gabe, apparently. Now yes, we have a, we stolen, have a bike. stolen bike. <laughs> yep. What if we run into Matt and he just like tackles us off of our bicycle one day mid? Well, ride. fun fact: we put that joke in because um, Matt, our composer, actually had his bike stolen when he was a kid. So. So uh, you put his trauma that's... into the game. It was his idea. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> totally his idea. He recommended it. So we did it. We thought it was funny. No, I think it's perfect, and it makes sense for, like, the shady guy to have, like, a stolen bike. It just makes sense. Yeah, it was, we, we took a while to try to decide and figure out, like, how we wanted to get the bike to the player. Because we wanted to do something that we gave you. We didn't want you to have to, like, find it yourself. Mm -hmm. Originally, I think it was going to be Sako who gave it to you. Um, and then it was going to be Kyle... And then we were like, we need a way to introduce the shady guy. Oh, let's make it a stolen bike. So perfect. It just kind of worked out. I like that. I like knowing how things came into fruition and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I would sit around asking questions all day if I knew I wouldn't bother people. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care. I'll answer anything. Like, I need the whole origin story. <laughs> 
Um, I think it's really interesting the stuff that like is just pure creativity and then the stuff that happens because it's necessary or like things that you know we start with but then we have to change because of certain reasons and mm -hmm. you know things that come up it's it's just a really interesting process it is fun and then like with so many different minds working together yeah for sure it's good well not so many different but you know what i mean yeah even, even to having two writers. people is just yeah I mean, you had Rainy and I designing, and then, you know, we had two people writing, so it was really interesting for me seeing what ideas other writers came up with. And all the stuff that Jade came up with was amazing. Uh, she joined on in a point where we had to do a lot of rewrites to cut word count, mm. and we had to change a lot of systems and stuff, and she had some really great ideas, so shout out to Jade. an excellent job. We love Jade. Never met them, but I'm sure they're beautiful people. So in case we all weren't I, reading uh, any of that. Sorry, go ahead. I was just say I think Jade is beautiful people. I muted myself because I'm about to eat some peanut brittle, but... Ooh, have an extra bite for me, please. Mm -hmm. right. I will. Thank it's you. churro-flavored peanut brittle. I'm very excited. That sounds so good. Are you kidding me? Know, right? I'm just going to smell this candle. Farmer's markets, man. Mm. Farmer's markets. Okay. That's where all the good stuff is. <laughs> um, enjoy your peanut brittle. I hope you. I hope it's delicious for you. Um, but anyone that maybe didn't read through that, I was slowly clicking through it just in case. It's pretty much just like we thanked him for buying us um, some stuff while we were at the outlet, and we're like, you didn't have to buy it for me. And he's like, well, it's not like you had money, which is funny because I know what I was doing, and I actually do have money, and I could have bought it, but it's fine. We we're telling him that we're broke, so that way. He hooks us up. Uh, <laughs> and then he said that he felt sorry for us, and that's why he's helping us. I know how hard it is to set yourself up for success. The people of Sunnyside helped me, so I guess I'm just passing it on. Speaking of which, I'll talk to Ahina about getting you some cooking lessons. That'd be great. And thanks for the trip to the city. Yeah, no problem. Hope you didn't have any trouble with the bus. I know it could be a pain, but it's kind of the only way to get to Higashi. Luck Lucy takes it every day. I think the Takahashi girls do too. I found it okay. Oh good, you shouldn't have any problem getting back here. If, I don't know, you want to buy better appliances or clothes or whatever. Oh, there's also a pet rescue you might want to check out. Dogs are great for keeping foxes away and I'll sell supplies for them in the shop. You know, if you're interested. Oh, I hadn't really thought about it. That's good to know, thank you. Anyway, I've got some more stuff to do in town, so you go on without me. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. I accidentally clicked it, but yep, something. <laughs> um, do do do. I for how you think it's a stolen bike, right? <laughs> and mysterious backstories. Is he dissing your fit? I think he was. I think he was <laughs> dissing my fit, actually. Now that you mention it, <laughs> Gabe has more stuff to do. Okay, Gabe. Keep your secrets. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna worry about running around here too much right now, unless if anyone really wants to see stuff, because I, I mean, we can't really buy animals yet. Because I don't have a bed for them. But. You can gosh, buy clothes. Cool. I can't buy clothes. Are you, are you dissing my outfit too? No. I'm kidding. I mean, you could buy some shoes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can go to the record store too. This is true. You can check it out. So if you ever want to get a new fit, you can come here. And you got all the things. And um you can preview what color and stuff it'll be in here but once you buy the clothes you can like change the color uh of the item so you don't have to buy it in the color which is really handy i don't know if that's the way it's intended to stay but i like it yeah that way it's gonna stay like that okay cool because i was like it's oh, really yeah. all the clothes you buy are just white yeah we were gonna do like oh you have to buy the different colors and stuff but it would have been more <laughs> items to make and that would have been confusing kind of unnecessary really mm -hmm. so we just Whatever you want, you know. 
and you can get uh, accessories here too. That's actually gonna change. You're not supposed to be able to get accessories. Oh, I lied. You can't get accessories here. <laughs> um, will that just be um? Where will that be available at? That's um, Lady Ishikawa. Kyo. Cool. Jewelry shop. Do that, and then I think the record shop is on this side. You're right. It's the lack of shoes Gabe is dissing. Well, Gabe doesn't oh. know me. Oh, wait, I just kept on running. I was looking yep, at chat. He ran, <laughs> he ran past I it. just, I, I don't be looking at what I do when. Oh, that's not it. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's right next to the movie. Sorry, time. I'm brand new to streaming. First day for streaming. Sorry, my bad. I say that anytime I mess <laughs> up on stream, by the way, <laughs> for the past six years. Um, which I love this shop. I wish I could just like so good. hang out in here. It's so cute. But um, anytime that you hear a song in game, it becomes available for you at the record shop. So you can buy it, play it in a record player. Um, you can play it on your phone too. And you, oh yeah, you can play it on your phone too. Hmm. You can also test on that record player, yep. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And the record players are spatial, so if you run away from it, it'll... Yeah. So cool. Let's go say hey to the Shady Solar now that we're right next to him. I love that the Shady Seller sells plushies. <laughs> like, he's like, hey. I got that good stuff, you wanna see what I got? <laughs> he's a plushie dealer. Plant plants? Yes, I do need to plant the plants. I need to get back and plant some plants. Can we get a dog or do we need to get a house first? You don't necessarily need a house first, but you do need a bed for the dog. But we can do that. Yep. I just need to get the stuff for it. Yeah. Got to add markup. Oh, it's going to be more expensive here? Yeah. Fair enough. That makes sense. I mean... Even though it's probably stolen goods anyway. No. Nothing more nefarious than plushies. Check the labels for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, supposed yeah, to sell everything. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sorry, were you saying something? Mm, I don't remember. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm actually going to go back, so keep. Enjoy. I'm yeah. going the wrong way. I am a Kraken of the Sea! Or whatever that line from Juno is. Those who know, know. And those who don't, I guess wouldn't. So don't worry about that. So we can get, we can get an animal. Like I said, I just need to get a bed first. Ooh. Let me stand up for like five seconds while this loads. The stretching. Ugh, big stretch. Okay. Five second T pose. Sometimes you just gotta do that. You know? It just feels right. Go on the bus with your bike. <laughs> You're like, hey, uh, I just load this here. We have a public trolley where I live, like a public bus kind of thing. I don't know why they call it a trolley, it's literally just a bus. But, um, there's like a bike rack on the front of it for people who have bicycles, but it only fits like three bicycles. So like, I've been there before and like tried to bring my bike on it and like the bike rack is full and I'm like, I guess I'll just die. It's unfortunate. 
Like, what do I do now? I guess they can't have unlimited bike spots, but still. To assert dominance, yes. What did I do? I think I just rode my bike to where I needed to go. It's been a long time since that happened, and it only happened to me like once uh, while riding the trolley. I used to ride it a lot, but... So let's finish this um, bike rack. But yeah, I think I just ended up riding my bike to where I went, which I mean, the town I live in isn't that big. You can ride a bicycle probably just about anywhere within like an hour or two, but and that was before I probably was as out of shape as I am now. Like I get winded pretty easily. I'm just not active enough. I, I, I be playing games. Um, <laughs> uh, that's the problem. So before I forget, let's head to Gabe's. We're gonna still plant stuff, y'all. We're gonna be doing that. Um, but I'm gonna head to Gabe's and see if I can buy a dog bed and maybe a cat bed. So we can get some next time we're in Higashi. Which I'll probably wait until we get the bicycle tomorrow. Um, you get it the day after you build the, the rack for it. So I'm going to go to Higashi whenever I had the bike so it's easier to get there. Because it's a little bit of a run. In my city you have to call ahead for a bus to have a bike rack, so counterintuitive. Weird. That is interesting. I guess everywhere works differently. I don't remember how many different types of dogs there are. But I'm gonna buy a bunch of animal things. That should be fine. We have the money for it, so... Oh yeah. I'll buy one of these too. And one of these. And one of these. Cool. Oh yeah, we, we ready now. This will probably be me when the game actually comes out. Just having a whole farm full of cats. And be the crazy sunny side cat lady. And I'm okay with that. I'm the crazy sunny side cat lady with no shoes on. Running barefoot on people's rooftops. Trying to break out of the map. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we're ready to do some... Some actual farming. <laughs> Same. It's it's a good time. I'll be right there with you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all get me. I appreciate that. YouTube but with dogs? Fair enough. I mean, the dogs actually are helpful to have. I don't know if the cats serve purpose besides happiness. Uh, but the dogs will... Like Gabe said earlier, we'll, we'll chase off um, predators and things pretty much like, you know, foxes and such that are trying to do bad things to your farm. Yeah, I should probably buy some actual food, but matcha latte is fine. That was me yesterday. I got, like, distracted and I drank a big coffee plus some more coffee. Uh, the place I like to go to for coffee, they do a monthly, like, flight, they call it, where it's pretty much just like four shot glass kind of size coffees of uh, taste samples of their monthly specials. So me and my boyfriend went and had those, like, four espresso shots, pretty much. And then we buy a big version of the one that we like the most. So I had, like, four espresso shots, plus a big coffee, and I was like shaking yesterday. I was like, <laughs> had so much caffeine and it kind of made my tummy hurt to where I didn't really eat anything till later in the day. Oh, here's the rain that Ken asked for. 
and horse if they added it to the game. True. I haven't ever personally unlocked them in the game. I don't need. I don't know if that's a skill tree thing or or how that is. Rain. Yay. Uh. So. This is also very convenient because I needed to plant some stuff and it will water it for me. Let's get y'all a little bit of a better view of some rain time. Uh, um, oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I just walked off the edge. It took me all day again just to do the things I needed to do, but we will start some some farming. I don't think I forgot what the building requirements are for these lights. Nothing I'm gonna have yet. Small soft wood block and spike light. We also need this plastic box. Let me see, how many of these are gonna need large plots? So those all four need large. I think those two need large and that needs it. Open these packets. Up and then I'll worry about it. All of the things. When the lights come on, it looks extra nice during rain. It does. All the reflections. I, I, I know I said I was gonna plant today, y'all, but now it's raining and I kind of want kind of want to go around stuff while it's raining. I'm sorry, I'm a liar. He caught me. He caught me. The seed icons look so good. Aren't they so pretty? They did such a good job. I have returned. Welcome back. What a mess. It started raining and I'm- Woohoo! It, it's starting to get dark again already because I got distracted all day, so I'm going to plant probably in the morning again. I'm sorry. You should be able to go get your axe though, I think. You're absolutely right. I did order that. I need to do that. I am back with a sandwich. Mmm. What kind of sandwich? Boring sandwich. Boring? That's okay. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. Is it just like meat and cheese? Yeah. Okay. I'll stop asking you questions while you eat. <laughs> <laughs> we won't see much planting in the rain anywhere. That's fair. Maybe we'll get some lightning. You it want looks like it's just rain. Okay. My sandwich is two slices of white oral wheat bread. It's got mayo and mustard. And it's got two slices of turkey, a slice of cheddar, and a slice of ham. I thought you said boring. And I have a yogurt drink. It is boring. You've got multiple different meats and multiple different cheeses? Yeah. That's not boring. <laughs> it's not fancy. There's only one type of cheese. So maybe it's not fancy, but it's definitely not boring. Because, like, I consider, like, literally meat, cheese, no condiments. That's boring. Oh, who does that? A I'm surprising sorry. amount of people. I am an I, I know there are people who don't put condiments on their sandwiches, but I just want those people to know that I judge you. Yeah, I agree. I mean I also I'm a condiment girly. I like whenever I go out to eat and stuff, I love having multiple different sauces. Mm hmm I was actually Same. talking to Cherry this morning about how we're how we're beverage girlies too and we like to have multiple oh, different yeah. beverages. I am definitely a beverage goblin. There are three on my desk right now. I only have two. Moment, actually. 
Okay, so we can finish this mission. A quest. You gotta have the one for hydration. There's the one for energy. And then there's the fun drink. Yeah. To, like, make things happy. Yeah. Bologna and cheese with mayo is boring. <laughs> I haven't had a bologna sandwich in God knows how long. I don't think I've ever had a bologna sandwich, to be honest. Have you ever had bologna? Oh, yeah. I don't hate it, but I, I don't like, like it either. PB&J is also a go-to for me. It's just if I'm not in the mood for... I have moods where, like, I need something acidic. And that's when I go for, like, the mayo mustard type thing. I like to make, like, custom sauces, kind of, but not really. I just get, like, mayo and I put different stuff in it. Like, sometimes some Worcestershire or, like... Different seasonings. Oh, okay. You really are a condiment girl. I mix it up. I put it on my sandwiches. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm just walking around in the rain because people want to see <laughs> rain. So I'm just kind of running because I, I think I'm all caught up on the quests that I can do mm. at the moment. Yeah, I guess we could get materials and stuff for the tea house, but... The those more cured meats, pastrami, salami, pepperoni. Sometimes it's just like too much in my mouth all at once. I and love salami. Like, <laughs> bologna equals ham here. Oh really? Bologna is some weird. I don't even think it's real meat. It probably it is. <laughs> it probably is, but let's be real. It's questionable. Dang, Rainy, that's a sandwich. Ham here. Oh, God. Processed to death, pretty much. Yeah, that's baloney. Hero, open up for me. The question is does your baloney have a first name? It does. Actually. Um, salami. Ooh. Ooh. Homer. <laughs> Homer. I'm not sure about that one, but I'll take it. Old, old oh. Simpsons represents. Oh. Okay. Fair. Never watched it. Um, I think I'm gonna just run this way. And I'm gonna pass out. I think that's what's oh. gonna happen. And then we're going to, in the morning, if it's not doing anything that we want to see. Uh, just regular. Oh. Then, we shall do some farming, finally. I've been saying that, that we're gonna do that for days. But we're actually gonna <laughs> do that. I get distracted, guys. I'm sorry. Zebra, hello. Eh. Oh yeah, did you build your bike stand? <laughs> bike time? Yes, it will be bike time in the morning. I did build the bike stand. There, it's real. <laughs> Figured might as well see the beach in the rain time since we're we'll passing out anyway. Poor Alan just sitting out here alone in the rain. <laughs> Me? Well, I yeah. Was actually, <laughs> I was actually talking to uh, Alan's model earlier. Alan's model? Yeah, Alan's modeled after a real, real person. Oh. Really? Yep. Is that just like a personal friend of one of y'all's? It's a, it's a weird thing. So we had five characters in the game who were people who um, purchased like the ability to put their own character in. Ah. Uh. And the guy who uh, basically purchased Alan's character... Um, it, the only specs he gave us really were for like personality. Mm -hmm. He didn't really have anything for the look of the character. 
And so we were just kind of trying to come up with something and we kind of had an idea of what we wanted him to look like. And I have a very, very old friend whose younger brother was a model at the time. And so I messaged him and I was like, can we use your face? <laughs> Are you okay with that? Because like it was just your face. In he was game. just everything we wanted him to be. Yeah. So, actually, at the time, I think he was training to become a Power Ranger. If I remember right, that is such a cool sentence. Training right? to become a Power Ranger. <laughs> he made it really far to the end too. I think it came down to like it was him and one other guy, but he already looked like another guy that they'd already cast. So they, so they didn't chose want the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Wasn't meant to be or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I like um, Alan. Alan may actually be one of my favorite characters. I mean, it's hard to pick, but I really liked Alan's story. I love Alan's story. Um. It, I mean, it was kind of hard to remember all of them, too, because I did them all in a short period of time, but I do remember yeah. his <clears throat> quite well, and I liked that a lot. I feel like Alan's story is one that a lot of people are going to be able to relate to. Mm hmm And, I don't know, the ones... I feel like there's a little bit I can relate to from pretty much everyone as yeah. well. Don't look at that. What am I gonna get? <laughs> Let me get. I'm trying to think no, what it gives me plastic. I think it's progress. Yeah, it's progressing. Or it it was. If it stops, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. I'll start heading that way just in case. More matcha. More matcha. Okay, it may actually be st stuck now. Yeah. I swear it was fine, because like, whenever I started heading down the beach, it was like 2100. And... Rainy called it. <sighs> Sensed it. I mean, it's technically his fault, so... It's okay. <laughs> Just wanted to go for a rainy day run a bit. Alan was an <laughs> My brother's middle name. All cute. He says he can smell the code acting up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I smell something's off. Cheap, get out of the road! Okay, and then we're actually gonna plant stuff. <clears throat> and then we have a bicycle tomorrow, which is exciting. Woo! We can go buy some puppies if y'all want. I'm gonna need names. I mean, there's some names that auto-generate, but if y'all want some names for some cats and dogs. I wanna go take a pie out of the oven. Um, can I have a slice, please? There is no uh, spinner or looms, no. That was kind of where we drew the line at a home setting, was making your own clothing. Cherry is offended. Not really. Cherry is just Sorry, a, Cherry. Is a spinner. Oh, really? Master spinner. That's cool. Yeah. But also a beekeeper, so at least you have that. Nice. I, got I thought about doing, implementing like a knitting mechanic. I considered asking Rini if we could do that, but we didn't. <laughs> Sorry, my, I don't know why. Every time I stream, my nose itches like the entire time. I used to do oh, choir oh. as well. And every time that I did choir, every time I was on stage, I felt like I needed to itch my face. And I, I think it's a mental thing. It's like that when people are talking about you, your nose itches. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. People are looking at you. Yeah, I'm just like, now it looks like I've just picked my nose constantly. 
How many different animals? Um, I need you to be more specific. Do you want to know like all living creatures? Do you want to know like farm animals that you can raise? Do you want to know pets? Because those are different. Do you want to know how many different fish there are? There's a lot of different animals. Farm animals. Um, let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. I think it's 11. So there's chickens, ducks, quail, goats, cows, sheep, pigs, alpaca, and then, and bunny rabbits. And then each one of those has two, one, two, or three varieties. So like quail only has one variety, bunnies have two, and I think everything else has three varieties. So it's a few. It, it's a few. I'm just breaking these up into large plots and small plots so I can figure out. It's a lot of seeds. I know, you said to get one of each. <laughs> and I was like, that's gonna be a lot. I think black peppercorn also your, takes um, large. You can move your berries and chestnuts to your other, to your bento box. Give you some space. Good point. Um, can you harvest these year round or are they certain season? Just nuts. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I think all the rest of these are small plot. Yeah. So it's just two, three, four, five, five. Six, seven. You can still have a sheep empire, you just sell the wool instead of making your own clothing. <laughs> Bow down. I mean, you can still spin in the game. <laughs> like that. Just spin zirgles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so you have seven large plots. So, how do I want to do this? I may actually make some space. I'm gonna leave you to your creativity. Okay. Chop. Chop. Oh, you cleared out a lot of grass already. Yeah, I cut down, like, from there to here, mostly. Maybe missing a few spots. Nice. I don't like to tearing down the pretty trees. I mean, they're all pretty, Same. but you know what I mean? I, I usually just yeah. leave those wherever they spawn in. Same. I'm like, I'll work around that. The hard part is that the pretty maple trees are your hardwood trees. So it's like, do I get the hardwood? <laughs> Or do I have a pretty aesthetic tree on my farm? Like, what do I want? Uh oh, got too much stuff. Yeah, I had to get rid of something. That's all right. You got that box. Did you put stuff in the box? I've not put stuff in the box yet. There you go. Probably do that. We'll, we'll do that with this animal stuff. Did you notice that I moved it? I did. I, I was actually just about to mention it used to be over, like, six mm -hmm. inches. It was bothering me. Uh, that's nice, though, because now I can fit another box next to it. Exactly. I like to put my you cat can... beds and stuff up on those shelves. You cannot plant um, trees that you can harvest for wood. That was the system that we wanted to do, but we were never quite able to figure out how to do it. So, unfortunately, you just gotta wait for them to respawn. It used to let me place them up here. Yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But I feel like I want the cat beds to be in weird places because cats like to sleep cats. in weird places. I don't know if the system can account for that. I think the system expects them to be on the ground, but... I'm with you. Makes sense to be. I don't place. think that they jumped up there, but I think that it still counted it as their bed, you know? Mm. Uh, that bed. 
if you um to aim at it. You're so smart. I never thought about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like jump and stuff until it works. Save <clears throat> There is something that you can do now that is new, though, um, that people were asking for. Did I buy it? Rocks! Oh, yeah, the decor decorative rocks. I mean, I only bought one of them, but they exist. It's a weird one. It is a weird one. But I like it, though. The <laughs> flat ones are good because then you can make pathways, and custom pathways out of them and stuff. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. So, I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do my trees along I'm this excited way. to see how you do this. Ah, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. Let me see how far the watering goes, and we'll kind of start from there. Start from here. And we shall make some spot for these trees. Ninja, that pie looks delicious. I'm super jealous. Oh, did they post it in Discord or something? Yeah, I so I have a, a really old baking support Discord. Ah. Uh, that um, I didn't realize Ninja was in, so that's cool. Oh. <laughs> it's a small world. It's a strawberry rhubarb pie. Mmm. I've never nice had lattice rhubarb, work, by the way. Think. Looks great. It's very sour. That's a great looking pie. Did you egg wash the the lattice top? I've never made fancy pies. I've always no. just made basic ones, but I would love to do some like artsy lattice or whatever. There's so many different things that you can do for pies. Oh, you worked at a pie shop. No wonder it looks great. Professional over here. Yeah. Oh. I, um, the country club that I worked at, we made, uh, I made, we made so many pies. I never worked at a pie shop at the I went through a period of time of like, I wanted to try out different jobs. So like, did a country club, worked at a candy shop, worked at a, worked a place made donuts once. So I was just like, I wanna know how donuts are made. <laughs> I'm gonna get might as well get paid place. for it. Yeah, might as well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. See, anytime I wanna learn something new, I don't find a job for it, and I just buy all the supplies to do it, and then I become obsessed with it for a few months, and then <laughs> yeah. I never touch it again. That sounds like ADHD, my friend. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what the doctors say. They're probably right, though. <laughs> yeah, it's. I definitely get like hyper fixations, and then I'm like, yeah. mm, I have a new one now. Let's do. Oh, yeah, the pinching motion on the... That makes sense. I do the, the knuckle method. For mine. I'm gonna probably do, like, not a bunch of each seed. Probably just do, like, three or something of them. Yeah, that's what I usually do. We give you way more seeds than I think anybody really needs. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, they will go... A lot of them eventually will die out and change with the seasons. Yeah, exactly. and So it'll be good to have, and it just makes sense to have a bunch of seeds, because that's how seed packets are. You get, like, a hundred of them in a yeah. packet. Well, I also really wanted to implement, like, a seed box. Because it's something that I think all gardeners and farmers have is like that box where you keep all of your seeds or mm -hmm. like a file cabinet or something to keep them organized. I really wanted to implement something like that, but we ran it. Maybe in the DLC. That was illegal, I am aware. I'm sorry. Seeds. <clears throat> what was illegal? What did you do? 
I, I dug a plot to where I wasn't supposed to, because it was too close to something, oh. but you can kind of make it do it anyway, if you just finesse it. Ah! Maybe if it looks good, work. I don't care. I'm like... I know, I'm like, with y'all watching me play, you're like, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> you're like, don't do that. <laughs> me oh, riding yeah, my bicycle that, like, <laughs> in places I shouldn't. That classic, like... Empanada technique, I think it is, for the roll. We're, we're over here talking about baking, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Y'all talk about whatever you want. I'm just vibing, having having my best time. This isn't like me at all. Hidden and Trey are not twins. Definitely not. Like, we're lucky that we don't live closer together, Jerry, because we would be dangerous together, is all. <laughs> Bad. Gosh, these days have been flying to buy for me. Like, it's already... I mean, it's not that late, but still. Like, I barely did anything. I love the way you lay out your farms. It's super interesting. It's so different from how I do it. I'm glad that you like it. It's the beauty of the game is... You got a whole big area to do this. And, like, you are limited to the the square, you know, the grid structure, but you're also really not. You know? Mm hmm Yeah, you can still customize it a lot. Ah! That was illegal. <laughs> yeah, it's not about, like, min-maxing your space, you know? It's just... Do whatever you want to do. I mean, you're gonna have plenty of space. You're gonna have so much space. You're not gonna know what to do with it. Honestly, yes. <clears throat> okay, so we got- My cat one. has joined me again. Yay! Hello, Bagheera. Give the cat head pats for me if they like head pats. I will give you neck scratches. Okay, if they prefer that, that is good. He's all about the- Ear rubs. Oh. My like, cat likes to like shove his face into my hand. He's like, yeah. Like, get my head scratched. What a cutie. I freaking love him. <laughs> yeah, Bagheera, if you like touch the top of his head, he tries to look at your hand. And it's. It would be chaos, wonderful curative chaos. Chaos, ah! Can't speak. It would be. We'd be an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force. Free. Yes. Chaotic. Creative. <clears throat> are are uh, the pepper forts working? I feel like they weren't working at one point. They are working! They are Yay! working makes me happy. I didn't know that they weren't working, so that makes me happy. There was a, a very short period of time where uh, you could eat them, but you couldn't. Oh. Gotcha. I need to make some chests. Grim the same one that I hadn't done yet. Also this layer. For my brain. Okay. That's cool. And I think I want to just have like a little... Let's have like a tiny... Um, spice garden? Mint garden. Herb garden. Herbs. Do it. No such thing, Ninja. No such thing as too many seeds. So there's three I think, different. like, Kevin Espiritu over Epic Gardening, he has, like, a whole freaking filing cabinet full of seeds. He owns he seed company, so it makes sense, but it's still really funny. Yeah, I like watching their uh, videos of the start of the season where they go through all their yeah. seeds and they pick out what they're gonna plant. 
Yeah. Talk about all the different videos. varieties. Love them. Peppermint. And spearmint, which is my favorite. I love spearmint. Out of all of the mints. And I think I'm just gonna do that because I thought that that basil was also a mint, but it is not. So. Basil is not a mint. Nope. But from the the icon, it kind of looked similar it's in vibes. It's similar, yeah. Wait, I need to keep that, but I'm getting this out of I here. I feel like something's telling me there's a reference in my brain that's saying that I think basil is part of the mint family, but I don't know. It is a little spicy. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like, kind of like how yeah. mint would be. Yeah, see, Ninja? You have a seed wall. Don't judge. Um, Everybody needs a seed wall. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, then like four... I have like four... Herbs. Herbs. almost be done. I don't know if we'll be able to get it all planted before the end of today, but we shall try. No. You got six-ish hours. I think you'll be okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I get distracted and I start talking and I it's getting dark. But there's not really any time constraints that like really matter. Nothing's gonna hurt me taking extra yeah. time. I already have, so don't go buy more. But you still do, if you're anything like me. <laughs> you're like, oh, these look fun. Do I need another bag of carrot seeds? Not really, but these ones are purple, so... So, I don't have these. I don't have purple carrots. Did I plant the last carrots I had? No. Have you seen all the different fancy kinds of broccoli? I have. Like the spirally looking ones that look like not yep. real? Ugh. It's so called cool. uh, Romanesco. I've never ate one, but they look really neat. There was a restaurant I worked at, we we had, so our menu changed every day. Oh god. And we got shipments every single day from like a local organic farm. That's and cool, Romanesco but also. Was like, it was cool. Um, like, we all had things that we like, did. Um, but yeah, every day was making something new. There were no recipes to go off. You just had to be creative and give the chef what she wanted. It was wow. a very interesting job. That's pretty cool, um, though. It was cool. I worked, uh, it was, um, like a life science facility, <clears throat> and we ran, like, the lunchroom, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I say lunchroom. It was way more, like, posh than, <laughs> than like, a lunchroom, but, um, and, uh, I had to go to work at 5 a.m., and lunch was from 10 to 2. And so from 5 to 10, you had that amount of time to, like, make your stuff for the day to sell for lunch. Wow. And I ran the toss-to-order salad station. So every day, we had a different type of salad. I made salad dressing from scratch. And I would get to work, and there would be a piece of paper on my station. And just be like, here is here are the types of ingredients I want in the salad today. And then I would just have to prep all the ingredients. Okay. That was, it was fun. Sounds um, like a good time. But like the station next to me was like the international meals station. Mm -hmm. And I always felt bad for that girl because she would come in and like her, her thing would just be like, today we're having meatloaf and mashed potatoes. And that was all she'd get. No recipes. Just go make meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Like, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of trust too, but I mean, I'm sure they got hired for a reason. So. 
Oh yeah, and you know, you'd, you'd prefer pull the chef over and have her taste stuff and double check stuff and... That was a great environment. Probably one of the best cooking environments I ever worked in. It's a lot of fun. It sounds like fun. I mean... I, I mean, I can't help but thinking about how every t every day they have to print a new menu. Or did there they not do no it menu. that way? Because nope. I've, mm -mm. Um, I have a friend who works at a place that has a new menu every single day. Cause it, they, they go based yeah. off of the like what they catch because it's a seafood restaurant. So it's kind of just whatever yeah, they yeah. catch that day. But um, I just couldn't. They literally print a new menu every day. Yeah. And I'm like, that is tedious. I mean, you have also those, like, really expensive, like, Thomas Keller, the French Laundry and stuff, where, like, they do a pre-fee menu every day, and it's and they change every day, and it's, like, you know, a 20-item menu or something ridiculous. Yeah. There's a place in France, too. I want to say it was Jacques Pepin's place, but I can't remember. Um, but he had a farm. And so the menu was just whatever was ripe in the farm that day. That's and he so cool. Pick stuff off the farm and then take it in, and that was the menu. I somehow did that before I passed out. Oh, I technically didn't plant strawberry. Oh, you still have an hour. Okay. And you, do you got? Oh, at least you don't have to water everything because it rained. I'm That's gonna nice. do here. No, you're amazing. Thank you. Okay. Need a few hours, let alone trying to figure out a menu every day. Yeah, that would stress me out. But that's why there's other people that do that for a living and not me. Yeah, that's what the that's the chef's job. I can cook, but like I don't know, like the creativity is kind of hard for me. Like I usually just have like a base recipe that I know and then like if every once in a while I'll be like, okay, I can try some different seasonings this time or try to add this or that, but I'm not very innovative when it comes to... I mean, cooking and baking are just... It's, it's honestly a similar to a video oh. game, where, like, you yeah, so. you establish the skills, like, different types of skills, mm -hmm. and then the actual cooking process is just putting those skills together. So for cooking, like, the skill that you currently have is how to mix spices together. That's a skill. This is not true. everybody can do that. If you add another skill of, like, how to saute things, once you learn how to saute things, you can saute anything. You just need to know how it works. Same thing with grilling or roasting something in the oven or, you know, cutting up something on a cutting board. Very good point. They're all individual skills. So every time you cook, it's just, okay, how am I going to put the skills together with the ingredients that I have? Yeah. And baking is the exact same way. There's knowing different mixing techniques. And then when you want to bake something, you just have to know the ratios and then the different mixing techniques. And then you can make stuff. So, yeah, baking a pie is you just have to know how to make crusts. Like, which honestly, I still can't make pie crusts, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, like, there are different types of pies, and each one has different techniques attached to it. So, like, a basic fruit pie, you just need to know how to make crusts, and you just throw a bunch of fruit and sugar in there, and you're fine. But if you want to make, like, a lemon meringue pie, the meringue is a skill. You need to know how to make meringue. And then the, the lemon curd... Is a custard, is knowing how to make custard, so that's another skill. So mm -hmm. it's three skills you have to. So that's actually how the whole cooking system was like kind of put together in the game. Is like, I kind of broke it down that way that you have to know how to make pieces and then you can put the pieces together. Makes sense. I like it. I know I could just stand in one place and water stuff, but I'm chaotic and I run around like a mad woman. I do that too. I totally do that too. Because <laughs> I'm like, I could technically just. Uh... Did you check the weather? Do you need to water? Oh, that is such a good point. I always forget to check the weather. <laughs> um, dang it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Fine. Fine. <laughs> How are we doing? Now you can just build paths and stuff. You're right. Yeah, we should probably See, do that. I always forget that I can just summon my bike right to me. I always run all the way over to the bike stand. I feel you. Like, I, I did that for the that longest I time. It. I used to do that too for like the longest time until I, I guess I just doing a lot of testing and had to use the Get app a lot. 
Ooh, I haven't used these oh. new paths yet. Hey, it looks like your potats are ready too. Ooh. Get close to the It must be potats. Sunday. Is it Sunday? I didn't get the text, I don't think, for. Let me just see. Saturday. Oh, okay, good. Hey, Zenny. Hidden is about hey, Zenny. to put down a bunch of pathways, yeah. I assume. Yeah, I'm going to also just plant these potats. Potat. How many potats did you get? Um, I got eight, eight nice. now, so I think I'm just going to plant four of them for right now, and then I'm going to sell the other ones at the farmer's market just so I can have something to sell there. Nice. No, you don't need pathways. We just like the aesthetics of them. <laughs> yes. I love them. And I think there's even- yeah, there's more that you can unlock eventually, but this is the yeah. base ones. Um, got, like, some bamboo ones. Oop. This good old I haven't stone even pathway. seen them yet. What? Really? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, they That's look great. really good. Picks. Then we have a large stone path, which I'm excited about. Yeah, we did two different sizes for everything. And then, yeah, then those other ones in different sizes. Um, also, before I forget, I should probably place some more cat beds and stuff because I want to go buy a bunch of animals. I think this All the cats! Yeah, I think that they're going. <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of them up here. There's going to be some cat cats. area. Yep. I like it. We'll, we'll deal with it at a later time. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You judging- what cat beds did you buy? Seven. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, the cat grove. I, I couldn't it. remember how many different varieties of animals there were, and I- or of cats and dogs, so I was like, oh, well- Oh, I don't remember. So I was like, well, I may want to get one of each. I don't know. That's fair. That's fair. We'll have a dog area over here. They do not get a doggy grove. I don't have another grove for them. If I had one, I would. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of put them all together right now, so... I've actually good. never gotten more than one pet. So I'm really curious. I have. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my first time. <laughs> You're like, I'm not new to this game. That gnome looks adorable, don't they? Uh, oh, hold on, let me see if I can... I don't have the stuff to build him yet, but I could buy it. Let's have one near the hose, since we'll be going there a lot. The fishing one is also so very cute. We'll, we'll have him near the water thing, because that kind of makes sense. Okay. Oh, shout out to Ken for modeling gnomes. They're so cute. Ken did fabulous Actually, job really funny thing about the gnomes just fun facts for people is you know, usually you model something we call them meshes and it's a lot like you know clay right you just kind of model it out of clay or whatever these the gnomes he actually put rigs on the gnomes like like a character so that they could be moved around so he modeled the gnome once and then he can just reposition it into different like positions so that we can have genius. more gnomes. <laughs> it's genius. genius. Bye, Cherry. Thanks for lurking. Bye, thank you. Nice seeing All you. All the lurks help. Yeah, this is gonna be my first technique. time building these paths. I respect your pathing technique. Thank you. I think it will go through that tree. Thank you. Well, when we find out. I, you know, I'm not mad about that. I like that. Yeah, I'm not mad about it either. I specifically was requesting. I was like, Rainy, please. Let me not have collisions. I want to be able to have the freedom. And 
and then I should have some sticks already. I mean, if you want to build a tree in your house, I'm not going to stop people. Oh, do those not have the requirements on them? It does not have the requirements on them. <gasps> Rainy is fired. They're also split up, but we'll allow it. There's ways to work around that for now. I'll throw away all my sticks to make up for this. It fired. probably wouldn't be enough to, to actually build them anyway. Um, let me see if this works. What's funny is that the whole point for the stick pads was to give people a way to get rid of their sticks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll delete my sticks. So funny. Let's see if that will work. Oh, that's an interesting. I might get some weird fighting. Only one way to find out. Surprisingly? No. Oh, that looks great. It honestly worked out great. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, me neither. It'll work. Certainly saves a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> Poor Rainy getting bullied. Let's break the path. That's what we do around here. We just bully Rainy. Rainy's over here just like, bang. I'm just doing my best. <laughs> Actually, I feel like Rainy left. He would have been defending himself. <laughs> Now's the best time to, to say what we want to say. Yep. Oh, nope, he just went to me. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I hear you talking smack. Don't think I don't hear you. Oh, he's trying to tell me it's my fault. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't going to publicly call you out. All right. Okay, Rainy, that's fair. That's fair. It is my fault. <laughs> Y'all can blame it on me, even though I have literally nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> it was Hidden's fault. Hidden did it. It's life of program get bullied by the rest of the team. <laughs> you know, a healthy amount of bullying is good. I mean, we also only have one programmer, so we kind of have to bully him. You know. Yeah. Can't let him. You can't let his head get too big. You gotta put him in his place occasionally. I will make some more paths in a little bit, but I do want to go to Higashi before the pet places close. Get some pets. Higashi. Higashi. Did you build your pet beds? I did. That's when you were making fun of me for how many I had. I. I mean, you put the blueprints down, but did you actually? Oh, okay. I used the deposit from inventory. Right. Option. I always forget that that's a thing. It's a very handy thing. Yeah. But you know me with building. I, I do love building. So I usually find workarounds and stuff. That kind of thing. Shortcuts when I can. Smart, smart. I mean, that's why it was put in there. That was a QOL thing that Rainy wanted, like, from the beginning. I was like, no, we gotta make them work for it! And Rainy's like, please. Yeah. Think of the children. Looks like your cycling skills there, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you park in the street. <laughs> Forget all the parking spaces or the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I just... I love it. I just get where I can, you know, as quick as I can. Amazing. Amazing. In my defense, I'm used to, like, playing for QA purposes and, like, yeah. <laughs> just trying to do stuff as quick as I can so I don't waste time on... It's funny, even things. even when I'm doing QA, like, I can't help it. Like, I still... <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. I probably would, but I would just feel guilty about... Gotta park in the parking space. Wasting y'all's time, too. So. That's, that's totally valid. That's totally valid. Because I'm like, oh, y'all need this done. Let me not get too distracted. Like the other day, 
whenever I was testing whatever and I saw the new building stuff That's available, okay. I was like, oh, stay focused, <laughs> stay focused. <laughs> I'm like, I just wanted to like build a whole new area because of that. Um, I can never remember where the pet place is. Okay. All the way at the end. Okay. And it'll be on my right. All right. Yeah. Do, do, do. Bus comes along, smashes up the bike. Imagine. You can just steal another bike, it's fine. And it also has Matt carved into it, and Matt's like, <laughs> Why is it always me? My bikes! <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Pink uh. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten oh, varieties. No! silently screams. It's okay. It's fine. So, I'm gonna name one after my cat. Got it. Maybe. Maybe. Ow. Maybe. Maybe not. Cool. Oh, can you not... It, it doesn't want me to right now. Oh. It's okay. This one's I name- I highlighting it. Can you just backspace for me? I tried. Oh. Yeah, it's not- it's not allowing such All things. Right. It used to work. Rainy's fired again. It used to work. Who knows what happened. Uh, next Rainy's time. Fault. We're gonna blame you. Actually, if I had to guess, it's probably a result of implementing that. It's okay. Sasha's a cute name. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. You gotta find your cat beds. Yep. Um. Moko Michi? Cute. Not mad, just as <laughs> <laughs> We need an orange cat. Gotta so, have an orange cat. Gotta have an orange cat. Shigeru is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Kyo would have been better, but I'll get over it. <laughs> Are they hating on me for being an irresponsible pet owner? I feel like you have <laughs> too many cats. We're cutting you off. It's confident and anxious. I mean, same. Need dumb orange cat. Yes, <laughs> orange cat energy. And let's get one of these splotchy friends. Sam. <laughs> oh, then we have space for one more. Um. Oh, the kitty. I know. I'm Did sorry. You have I... a tuxedo yet? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, dogs. <laughs> um, did you do the the one in the um? The oh, shed I didn't. Place? You're right. Which one didn't I get? I think I just didn't get the plain gray one. And I don't think I got the white one. Oh, you need a white kitty. Okay. They're cutting me off. Just kidding. Really? <laughs> Aries is That is a good name, I like it. Beautiful. I have a ginger tabby called Pumpkin. Oh, I love that. I was never really a cat person until semi-recently. I got a cat, like, I guess it's almost been three years now, but I, um, I didn't dislike cats. I just never really had them and didn't have a preference for them until I got one and now I'm a cat person through and through. <laughs> I love him. I grew up with him, so. I grew up with Rottweilers. Big old, big old doggies. 
big ol' rotties. Yeah, my last one was 180 pounds. He was very round. He was overweight. That was not my fault. That is a rotund Rottweiler. He was. Um, and he was just a big old ball of love. Aww. My, uh, my sister, let's see, I we had a golden retriever growing up. Her name was McKenna. And then we had, my sister had, she lived with us, a, um, it was a Great Dane Mastiff mix. The dog was like 250 pounds. Oh. Huge. Her name was Tonka, like a Tonka truck. Oh. <laughs> How cute. Yeah. Now that we spent almost all of our money on animals and animal beds. Perfect use of money, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I'm not complaining by any means. I think it was great. The God of War. I never- I still haven't played that. Oh, you mean Ares. My bad. Ares, yeah. Okay, because I was saying, like, I haven't played God of War, so I don't know what you're referencing, but... <laughs> Ruddies are cool. They are cool. Yeah, they were... What I had growing up, and they were goofy little guys. Goofy, goofy goobers. They are goofy goobers. That's a perfect way to describe a uh, Rottweiler. Yeah. He was so large. I, I... I can't. And, like, going from having a 180-pound Rottweiler to, like, a cat. Like, I'm yeah. used to, like, just, like, different. slapping. Like, my dog just liked to be, like, slapped a little bit, you know? As, like, instead of petted, you know, just, like... And you can't really do that with cats. They'll look at you like you're crazy. Like, what are you doing to me? Like, please don't do that, actually. Would you not do that? <laughs> have you ever had just, chihuahuas? Like, Aww. They're cute. Have you ever just, like, pat your cat's butt? I have. He's not really a big fan like, of it. Not a fan. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll do it a little bit a few times, but any more than that, and he'll attack me. Which, he's not an attacking yeah. cat. Like, he... Even whenever he's feeling playful, he doesn't usually get too feisty, but... He does it whenever I think I'm doing no something more he doesn't like. Yeah, and he'll just yeah. be like, stop it. And I'm like, That's... He's setting up those boundaries. Yeah, and I respect that, because I'm like, he can't use his words to tell me, so... Oh, wait. Respect. Do animals show up immediately? I can't remember. I don't remember if they're the same day or day after. I want to say they're day after, but... It's Fox. Let's just see. If I see any running around. I don't think I see any running around yet. That will be a tomorrow thing. Mm. Always had chihuahuas. I like chihuahuas too. They're like, they're feisty. They're like a lot of feisty in a small package, you know? They're too much feisty for me. I can't handle chihuahuas. I like how they just like shake. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just think they like just kind of vibrate. Have you, uh, Jeff Dunham does a really good joke about that. I don't think he talks so. About, he talks about, uh, he, uh, he had a chihuahua and it like, I don't know, it like pooped in a shoe or in the house or something. And he like, you know, smacked the dog and told him no. And, uh, the joke is that, you know, he, he meant don't poop here, but the chihuahua thought, don't poop ever. And Aww. that's why chihuahuas shake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dogs had German Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel. God, dogs. Oh yeah. Oh, this is also like I can't slaps. handle more than like one dog at a time. That's fair. I feel like if my dogs growing up weren't so chill, I probably wouldn't have been into it either. But for the most part, they were just like very gentle giants and just be hanging out. And then I think that's why I was able to transition to cats so easily because my previous dogs chill. have always been just super chill. And they don't bark a lot or anything. Like I feel like Rottweilers in general usually only bark whenever they need to. And it's usually just one woof. A big yeah, woof. Yeah, it's a big one. 
barefoot on the pedals. Ouchies. I've done it before. It doesn't hurt. It hurts my little feetsies. But I guess it depends oh, yeah, on how... Yeah, I forgot too until I was like, what should I do for the rest of the day? And I was like, oh yeah, I still need to do this. Current dog is really old Chihuahua pug mix, and she's super friendly. Oh. My dad has a pug. The bike thing on the side still gets me. <laughs> yeah. When you said pedaling barefoot, I like instantly remembered how that felt when I was a kid. Like it just came flooding back to me. Yeah. Like the, how they're like very slightly bikey. Mm hmm. Yeah, for some grip. Yeah, I have pretty tough feet though because even though it's a joke about me not wearing shoes in Sunnyside, it's reality. It's kind of reality <laughs> too. I live in a beach town, so it is it is socially acceptable here to not wear shoes inside of establishments. I mean, as long as it's not a restaurant. But like, you'll see people in like Walmart without shoes and like with a bathing suit on, like in a bikini, just like whatever live their best lives yeah so like i mean i typically wouldn't wear shoes a lot and then growing up i, I mean, didn't and, yeah. i grew up in southern california i can confirm all this yeah it's like it's weird but it's kind of normal accurate. and like um my parents instead not my parents my grandparents instead of grass at their house they had rocks for their yard so that way they didn't have to mow they only kept like a 10 Smart. foot by 10 foot area to, so the dogs could go to the restroom there, <laughs> but of, of grass. But I would always run around their yard barefoot too in the rocks. So my, my feet grew up a tolerance for that, I feel like. Nice. Yeah, I remember we used to like spend the whole summer barefoot. Like, for us it was, because I grew up in the suburbs of Southern California, so like hot asphalt <laughs> in the summer. Ooh. Gosh, that is painful. That's what we did. That still gets me though, like hot asphalt. Like it's like textures don't really bother me too much, like rocks and stuff, mm. but but heat still gets me. Mm. Uh, is Walmart really the best example though? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> okay, fine, like Target. <laughs> That is a the good point. Bougie Walmart. <laughs> bougie. Target. Um, Target Boutique. <laughs> so we went to Hina's for some cooking lessons because we told Gabe yeah. that we burned ramen. Um, so that's what we're doing. All right, the basics. There are a lot of different appliances in the kitchen. Some help with prep work, others do the actual cooking for you. Prep appliances are things like cutting boards, a food processor, a stand mixer, even hot water kettle, really. But then cooking, that's done on a stove, grill, or in the oven. I guess, well, your rice cooker cooks rice and the kettle technically cooks water, but you know what I mean. Most things that you cook, they're going to take different steps. You can't just toss flour and water and yeast in the oven and expect to get pizza. You need to make the dough first, and then the sauce, uh, and the sauce first, and then it all comes together later. Does that make sense? I, I think so. I might be making fun of other farm games in this tutorial, just so you know. Okay, you're throwing some <laughs> subtle shade, maybe? Just a little bit. Y'all like to do that. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Sydney likes to do that, sorry. Yep. Rephrasing. Uh, let's start with something simple. Lemon pepper fish fillet. Does sound scary. <laughs> it can be, but that's why I'm here. First thing we need to do is break the fish down into fillets on the cutting board. Sure, you could just grill up a whole fish, but if you break it down into fillets, you get four meals instead of just the one. Ooh. Once the fish is broken down, we can cook it in a pan on the stove with some lemon, pepper, and salt. You can throw some herbs in there too if you're feeling fancy. And Get that's out of it, here, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> what did Kevin do? Veritilis, Kevin. Oh, my bad. He's over here. Simple lemon pepper fish fillet. Simple. 
It's like, here's a simple dinner recipe, and then they ask you to chop an onion, and you're like, okay. <laughs> Target is Walmart, but red and more expensive. <laughs> That's not so hard. Not on paper, no. But in reality, you have to pay close attention to the food. Leave it there too long and it's gonna burn. And the better you get at it, the easier it's gonna be. Do you have the cookbook app? If you do, I can send you this recipe. The cook app? Yep. Nero gave it to me a while back to help track all my recipes. Here, let me send it to you. And here's the recipe. Wow, this is great, thank you. No problem, tell you what, I'll send you a few more easy ones. When you get better at cooking, come check in here at Naka and maybe I'll give you some more. Also, Gabe said he took you to uh, Syatek in town. I assume he got you a rice cooker? Um, no. He got me a camping stove. Camping. That man, seriously. Sometimes he forgets that he lives in Japan. Here, have a spare- I have a spare one. It's even outdoors friendly. Thanks, because I live in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is- thanks so much. No problem, food is important. If you need rice, you can buy it from Yuma at the mill next door. He mills all kinds of things. Flour, sugar, rice, he even has a whole tea operation. In fact, all the tea we serve here at Naka is processed by Yuma. We serve coffee, too. Yes, but we don't get it from Yuma. If you recall, you still haven't found a reliable source yet. True. But it's still the best in Sunnyside. I mean, it's the only one in Sunnyside, but... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him about your canned matcha. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Shh. Don't tell him. He'll be offended. Like, baristas are like... My sister was a barista for a long time, and she took it pretty seriously, and... She would hate on things like Starbucks and stuff. She'd be like, that's not real coffee. I'm like, okay. Fake burnt coffee. Yeah, literally, that's... Did you talk to her? When did you talk to her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, cooking rice is supposed to be easy, but some... I made the rice. I don't want again. Starbucks at all. Let's save time. Yeah, it's... it's it's can be... It can be easy mess up, too. <laughs> well, hi there, Sebastian. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> this community really seems to support each other. We have to. <laughs> Small towns like this one are disappearing all over Japan, so we need to stick together. That goes for you, too. Me? Sure, you're part of this now. Right. No pressure. It's extremely picky eater. I would probably not even touch a lot of the recipes. Well, hey, there's plenty of recipes. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. There's... We also made it so that if you don't want to interact with the cooking system, you really don't have to. Like... No, I don't think anything's blocked out by cooking, so... Mm -mm. Let's see what's here. But I like how getting pets were more of a priority to cooking lessons. Yeah, I... What can I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to get the coffees from here, too. Look how cute these little desserts are. <laughs> Honestly, making me hungry. Like that cherry lemonade that may give you. I mean, I'll, I can buy one, I guess, just to try. But uh, it may give you the boost as well, but I don't remember for sure. But then here's some recipes. Some. There's a lot. So, you got options. And that- Oh, I haven't seen the new menu yet! Oh, new menu! Yeah, yeah it looks great! I don't think I've seen it either. Oh, and it has all the categories. Yeah. Very nice. That makes it so much easier to get through. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay. Yeah. Um, I, I do like that there's a whole category for sandwiches. Yeah, that's... There's so much. So much. Sandwich? Mm. Yeah, it's one looks like a sandwich. Sandwich. Mm, feta. 
Feta is one of my favorite cheeses. I love I love feta cheese. Oh yeah? So good. Okay. I'm getting getting distracted here and getting really <laughs> hungry. Um there's a lot of food that I've never heard of before that I learned about from this game. As oh well. yay! That and, makes me happy. And also some fruits and vegetables and stuff that I had never heard of before. Uh, Yay! Which, I love teaching people stuff. Well, you succeeded with me, at least. I, I forgot, there was a couple, like, and I mean, once I mentioned it to people, or whatever, like, my boyfriend and stuff, he had heard of them, and it, I, maybe I live under a rock. Like, I'd never heard of a persimmon <laughs> before. Um, which That's is fair. just a fruit. Not super common here. Yeah, and so I was like, "What's that?" I had to Google it, and I can't remember any of the other ones off the top of my head that I learned about from this game. But there was quite a few. I mean, definitely all the food, because of course there's a lot of like Japan-inspired food that I haven't had. You just kind of sell me. So, what are you? I don't understand what you're talking about. Whole different recipe. There's different, a whole different recipes for different burgers, as opposed to replacing certain parts. I don't get it. I think it's because there's like a chicken burger, there's a, a beef burger, there's yeah. ones made with a katatsu or whatever it's called. I forgot. Yeah, but no, what do you mean by that, as opposed to just replacing certain parts? That's what I don't... Because that's, that's what it is. <laughs> it's just replacing like, instead of just like unlocking one recipe and then just being like oh you could interchange this with this or this yeah you so you can so there is discoverability in the cooking system so if you have the burger recipe and you want to try it with a katsu you can unlock the recipe that way you don't have to buy the recipe but that's there in case people don't want to do the discoverability or don't feel like experimenting but or if you can't figure it out, you're stuck. Different. Or you can't figure it out, yeah. There's another route you can take. Which is kind of cool, too, the discoverability part of it, because you could just mm -hmm. be messing around and yeah. discover We some wanted stuff. to do discoverability the way that Legend of Zelda did, where, like, there's always a default recipe, but we couldn't get that to work. So if a recipe doesn't, if you put stuff in there and it can't make something, it just won't. But you won't, like, lose the ingredients. So, that's kind of nice. Tomorrow's Sunday. Look at that rain. Yeah, we could just sit here and stare at rain, too. That is also <laughs> an option. That's honestly what got me into the game to begin with, whenever I saw that video, so, um, a video of someone covering the game, and it was showing, like, the rain, and um, I don't I think, think that the snow had been shown yet. I people. I don't know why, like, it's kind of weird that that's what would make me want to play a game, but literally. Yeah. It, it's One of my worked. favorite videos is the, it's a little compilation we put together from the Influencer Alpha of all of you guys seeing the thunder for the first time. Or, sorry, seeing the lightning, I always mm -hmm. say thunder. It's um, so pretty. And it's just like everybody just like, oh my god! It's a really great video. It is great. I, I, I need just, like, a 12-hour video of, like, an aesthetic video of, like, the rain and lightning and thunder, and I want to have it on YouTube so I can sleep to it. <laughs> it's a long, long... We could probably do something like that. We have, like, the music videos, but they're not, like, aesthetic environment videos. Well, she said they were outdoor friendly, so should be safe. Yep, you're good. <laughs> Come over here and make fun of me now, cat. Look what I got. Your stove's backwards, though. That's valid. <laughs> Itachi. I still think it's funny it's called Itachi. Cool. Well, tomorrow's Sunday. Which means farmer's market. Where are they plugged in? Imagination. They're battery powered. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> she said it was outdoor friendly. 
They're but yeah, they're battery powered. It's fine. Oh, my robot is ready today too. Uh, how many more days were you thinking about doing? Um, that's up to you. Is there anything else that you want me to really show? Like, do you want me to go into the really. caves anymore or anything like that? Or is there anything else that y'all want to see that I haven't shown off yet? We're what, three and a half hours in? I guess so. It didn't really feel like that. Time kind of flew by for me. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Are you central time? I am central time. So we're, yeah. I think we're same time. Yeah. 30. So I'm down to do farmer's market and maybe grab Sparky. And then. Yeah, let's do one more day. And then we can be good. I was actually. Yeah, yeah I totally think that that will work because I don't want to give away too much either. And Exactly, yeah. One week of sunny side sounds. So let's head to, let's go to the beach, beach, let's get away. Oh, <laughs> don't. Oh, you gotta go check on your cats. <gasps> ah, ah. Before you leave, we gotta go see all the cats and dogs. Can we see the future plots? Uh, we could. Sadly, no, they're not yeah. like streaming. They're not loading right, right now. We have some other stuff we have to do to them still. Mm, okay. So they're, they're hidden away. They're just blank land. You technically saw one of them earlier, if you were yeah. in here for that. Um, but they don't look anything like they should. Oh, you have a dog named Soda. <laughs> Rufaro is a good name. It is good. You should uh, take one of them on a walk. I'll have to go grab my leash. Can you leash cats? Yep. That is amazing. <laughs> I wish oh, could... he's just chilling up there. <laughs> he oh. kind of doesn't know how to get down. <laughs> I I like it though because it just looks like they're hanging out somewhere weird, like they like to. I think I that's it. funny. Don't bother yeah. with how they all say they're thirsty. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, they don't have any food or water bowls. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I have some food. I could, I could definitely. Okay, I'll, I'll do that just so I don't get canceled. <laughs> we don't want to get canceled here. So let's do cat water, dog water, cat food, and dog food. Dogs, cats. Too late, canceled. <laughs> There's already a trending hashtag on Twitter. I'm not calling it X. <laughs> I refuse. Um, thought I bought some. Did I put it away already? I think you put it in the box. In the box. Dog food. Oh. Cat food. And then some water. Fill these up. Y'all can delete those tweets now. I fed the animals, I watered them. <laughs> and we shall take one on a walk. So tough. Walkies. Time for walkies. Oh, he's like my old dog trying to take take me for a walk. <laughs> Just like, come on, let's go this way. This way. Come back. 
This is also what my dog would do. And since he was 180 pounds, <laughs> he used to just sit there. He used to just sit. And then like, he's like, we're not going anywhere. And I'm like, okay, good point. Cause I can't make you move. <laughs> like I literally can't. <laughs> he's like, it's so ridiculous. Sir? Sir? He's getting distracted. There's too many good things to smell. <laughs> he's like, okay. So realistic. <laughs> I refuse so to. You still have to type Twitter to go on to Twitter. Really? Yeah. That is hilarious to me. Yeah. I don't know why, but it is. So it does, like, I got things to do. Okay. You good, got things to do. You still have to go to the farmer's market. I'm sorry. I gotta go get Sparky. I'm sorry. You said <laughs> to take them distracted. on a walk. I know. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Distracted. Okay. We're, we're going to the farmer's market. <laughs> and then we're going to go to Hero Heroes to pick up Sparky. Okay. I mean, I got stuff done today, though. You know, we bought, like, like almost 13 or 14 animals. <laughs> we have created a, a sanctuary for, for the Bob. animals. Yeah. And planted a bunch of stuff. Got a bicycle. Met Sparky. Learned how to not burn ramen. So I'd say it's a win. A win is a win. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm gonna sell my two or three potatoes here at at the market, just so y'all can see how that works. I don't remember if that had been shown or not. I'm just gonna um, no, crash so. into them. Yep. <laughs> I see y'all also nerfed my jumping on the back tire and I'm really upset about it, but it's fine. Wait, what do you mean? I used to be able to jump on the back tire and it would launch you into the sky. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and I can no longer do that and it's upsetting. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. I'm like, fine. <laughs> hey, Yukio. Yukio. Just figured yeah, I should no say cares. hey to her. <laughs> Yukio is important. No one rides to the bike accident. No one. It's normal. It's what I do. I just want to note, in case anybody notices it, all of these like faceless NPCs are sized way too large. So I just want everybody to know that they will be smaller. It bothers me every single time I go to the farmer's market. Quite tall. They're all just cute. <laughs> you know, I don't think I noticed that until you pointed it out, but. But I'll take it. I I see it now. I see what you're saying. All right. Four potatoes. Perfect. Let's open it for sale. Here's hoping we sell everything. You grew this? Free, please. It bothers me. The uh, epic guard. What's that? Did you die? I don't know, my internet's back. I was about to say, I'm like, can <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Then, I don't know. No, just Twitch being weird. Okay. I think, yeah, I think my internet had a moment of panic. I like how that guy said three, please, and he literally bought three. Love it. You actually did that. Okay. 
big stall, just three potatoes. Yep. It's like, hey, I got the goods. Perfect. Perfect amount. And um, I'll just run through here, but then we'll head back home. Don't pay attention to that. It's fine. Um, oh, wait. Go back a little bit. There was a dude is, with sunglasses and a light blue, like, polo shirt. Keep going. That guy? Yep. Fun fact. That's my dad. Oh, hi, dad. <laughs> hi. That's cool that you got them put in the game. <laughs> There's, like, five or six of them that are, like, family members of ours who've passed away. Like, my dad died when I was a kid. Um, we have somebody else put his grandfather in. So they're all mostly people who passed away. That's cool though. But fun fact! And then there's also all the Epic Garden people that are wandering around. So if you see one that doesn't look like a normal one, it's- that's what they are. They're like, somebody. That's really neat. I didn't know that y'all had done that with family members and stuff. Just- just some faceless. Our lawyer is gonna be one of them. We haven't, like, dropped him in, but he's one of them. Um... Dr. D-Dub has one. Oh, really? Which, we were gonna let him announce it, but he hasn't done it yet, so I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> nice. That's cool, He's taking though. too long. He's literally the reason why I know about Sunnyside, so... He's the reason a lot of people know about it. Which is so weird it got recommended to me, because I had never seen his videos before, but somehow the algorithm algorithm That, yeah, the algorithm loved that video, man. It's, like, still in, like, I think it's top five. And I was just, like, freaking out when I saw it. And I was like, I need this in my life. And I just started typing up an email. <laughs> and I'm like, please, please. Oh, wait, you passed Hero's place. My bad. You guys are the spark? I'm sorry. I get distracted. I get talking. If anyone's been nice to my- Nice Akira slide, though. That was great. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, yeah, the- if anyone's been tuning my normal streams, this you've realized this is a normal thing where I get distracted constantly <laughs> and I I yeah, things take a lot longer than they probably should because I'm me. Oh, is it past no worries, no worries. he's closed. Or did I not answer his text? Oh my god. Oh yeah, you gotta answer his text message first. Yep, okay, okay. Let me Got you got 30 minutes, better hurry. Ah. I'm standing right next to him texting him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right what over. Happens when you literally literally too right much. You kind of forget the I get in the motions and, and what happens next, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, that now you should. Yay! <laughs> it's fair. Plus two drifting XP, thank you. <laughs> right, BMX uh, track. All right, we're gonna get a huge lore dump here, so okay. Be on your your best acting behavior. Where'd you say you <laughs> got this thing? I'm like I told you, I'm not very great at it, but I can read. No, you're great. You're excellent. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, where'd you say you got this thing? I've never seen anything like it. No panels, no ports, no cords. I think it's the hardest thing I've ever done. How did you afford something like this? Never mind, that was rude. Anyway, I had to design something original. There was no physical port anywhere on the body of the model, so I never found that button you're talking about. Or I also never found that button you were talking about. But I did find some really interesting energy transfer nodes on its base. They're shaped weird, and I had to do some really deep research into engineering and laser technology. But once I hooked it up, well, it looks like it's working. Oh yeah, it is. It might take some time for it to fully... Sparky? What happened? You, uh... Whoa, it does talk. Of course I talk. Are you sentient? Of course. Hidden, what is going on? Well, I, uh... Well, I found it in the old caves. Honestly, I'm just as confused as you are. You found this in the caves. Yeah, honestly, I thought it was one of yours. Or maybe my a mining drone that got left behind. A mining? How dare you? I'm a Zant and a proud one, thank you. Well, but, well, frankly, that's all I remember at the moment. 
Because some human hit my reset button. Said I was sorry. Whoa, back up. You found him. It. I am not an it, thank you. So what do I call you? Sparky. Right. So you found Sparky in the old caves. That's right, there was an earthquake and when I woke up, Sparky was staring at me. Sparky? Yes. Do you remember what you were doing before the earthquake? I was going home. Okay, and where is home? Within the caves. But something is wrong. When I entered the caves, the Kashiwa tree was but a sapling. I believe quite some time has passed between me entering the caves and leaving with Spark. Or leaving with hidden here. Perhaps the earthquake shook you free from the rubble? That is my estimation, yes. Right. Is there anything else you can tell us? I am a Zant. We are a proud race of mecha uh, mechanized organics that has traveled the galaxy for many millennia in an effort to aid in the creation of life. The creation of life? Yes, you being a balanced natural ecosystem of planets so that they can better support life. What? Really? Yes. Holy crap. What? You're an alien? I- how rude! You're an alien! <laughs> okay, so you're a Zant. Correct. And your people live in the caves. Correct. But you have no idea what happened over the last... possibly hundreds... over the last possibly hundreds of years. Correct. Right. Hidden, what were you doing in those old caves anyway? Mining for ore? Makes sense. I must return. What? I must return home. I must know that my fellow Zants are all right. Well, don't look at me. I'm not really into splunking. Hidden, you were already down there. Maybe you can help Sparky? I... I mean, yeah, I guess I can. So, we're going to help you find your family? Correct. Okay, let's go. Good luck. Oh, and don't forget to build Sparky a new charge station on your farm. I'll keep a spare here, just in case. Thanks for everything, hero. No problem. Good luck. Sparky does not do pronouns. Yeah, he's like... Or they're like... Sparky... Sparky does not do pronouns. And then I and then I messed it up the, with the first sentence I said afterwards. But I like I actually I always say him with Sparky, which is completely inaccurate. But it just I don't know he gives off. So here you go. Sparky gives off he vibes in my head. Yeah. So Sparky is technically genderless because he's a robot. I feel like <laughs> Sparky wouldn't mind though. I feel like he just doesn't want to be called it. Like, anyone else wouldn't want to be called it. <laughs> True. Because that's the only time now, they seem to get offended. The, now the world knows the story of Sark. So far. So far. Not the so full far. story. Hi, Saifa! Mm -hmm. I have another kitty. Another oh, one? Me? Another one. Oh here? god. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna be cancelled again. Wait, why are you gonna get canceled? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I may be- I may be hit and- uh, maybe hit something in the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a cheat. <laughs> I tried to swerve to avoid it, but then they walked forward and then... <laughs> Go abuse the serious offense. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Um... Epic. So we have Sparky back, and um, and yeah, very productive day. I think that was productive, um, and I hope you guys got to see some new stuff uh, that you enjoyed. It makes you a little more excited for the game. Um, is there anything else you want me to do, or you think that that's all you want me to show off, Sydney? I don't think so. I think that's pretty good. I think it was pretty good. A nice little little intro. A little appetizer. A little first week sunny side look. Yep. And Kyle texts us and we're like, sorry, time to go. Gotta, gotta go. 
Sorry. But, yes. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Um, and I can't wait till you all get your hands on the game and get to make it your own and adopt all your own animals and run around barefoot or, or with <laughs> shoes on if you so choose. You know, I won't judge. To each his own. Yeah, I won't judge. To each his own. <laughs> and, uh, I love it. And then, um, if you want to post oh, that yeah. message that I forgot that existed. I did too, until you said, oh, if you want to. I was like, oh, I know exactly where she's going with yep. this. If you guys, perchance, have not wish-listed the game already, that helps us out. And uh, you can also follow the Discord if you haven't done that already. And that will help you out because then you get info about the game All and info. any upcoming streams and things like that that are happening. So, Also, shout out to Women Led Games, um, one, for letting us do this on their channel. Uh, but also, they have a showcase coming up in March. Um, so we're trying to get them to affiliate before the showcase um so i think we made some good progress thanks for everybody helping us out with that um the showcase is march 8th 9th and 10th so if you want to see that showcase definitely follow this channel because it will be live streamed here um and they're gonna be showing off you know indie games and um specifically indie games with women-led or women majority teams so, which is obviously the whole point of the organization, women-led games. So it's all about amplifying women within the gaming industry, which we all know we need more of. So, shout out to them. Yes, thank you and, for uh, yeah. letting me stream on here with you guys. It was a lot of fun. It's and fun. I love playing the game, so anytime that I'm able to do that, I'm happy about it. <laughs> Especially letting people see it. It's been so under wraps for so long that... It's just kind of, it's it's nice to be able to, like, really finally share something. It I is. know we do, like, our live streams and stuff, but this is this is nice. But this is a little bit different, because you're actually getting, like, a feel of what it's like the first few days of playing and getting through there. Yeah. And what to expect yeah. when you all get your hands it's on it. It's also really nice to see, like, how it looks on stream, because we've definitely tried to make the game approachable for streamers. So, like, where are you going to put your face box? And, like, where are you going to, like, what stuff gets covered? And... So that's mm -hmm. stuff that we try to consider, even when we were making the game and, like, where the UI is all at and all that. As a streamer, closed. appreciate that. Um, so we have been, it's public knowledge that we've been running um, some, like, closed betas um, with our Kickstarter and backer kit backers. So people who, like, ordered early access and stuff. So they've had access um, on and off since October. And they've been testing for us and helping us get a feel for the game and um, make some really great quality of life changes. And like it used to be that the bike you didn't get until like you had been playing for like a week. Um, and now you get it like day three. So that was something that they requested, which we obliged with. So I'm not mad at um, it. It is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so they've really been great. They're they're going to get another round soon. Um, so, but in terms of, like, being able to join the beta, that's been closed for a while. Um, so, it's kind of up to our publisher if we open it up to other people. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But, uh, yeah. We're still just kind of chugging away at stuff. We've been doing a lot of optimizing and, I mean, you, have you felt the optimization changes? I have like felt, in gameplay and stuff. Yeah, I have felt quite a bit. I feel like um, today wasn't There's a great show of that be because I was streaming and I have a bunch of stuff open and um, yeah. didn't test that before I did that. But yes, outside of streaming stuff, I've definitely noticed. Yeah, we're still better. like there's still some stutters here and there, but like there was a memory leak that was giving us a lot of problems. We finally got rid of that. Um, so. It's definitely the most stable it's ever been, which is awesome. Um, and our goal is to make it so that, you know, people with not lower end PCs, but, you know, lower end PCs can still play it and have a good time and don't have to run on five frames. And, you know, so. Yeah, we don't want you being out on so five yeah. frames. 
been doing lots of, lots of uh, optimizing, lots of bug text testing, bug fixing. Um, we announced it, I think, in December that we are evaluating porting um, and what consoles will look like. We don't still don't have an answer for that, but it's something we're still working on. So, a lot of stuff happening. It's so much um, behind I think the, the big thing. Yeah, the biggest thing we've learned is that making a game just takes so much longer than you think it is. Like, this is for all the indie devs. If you if you want to make a game and you think it's going to take a year, it's going to take you two or three. Like, At just, least. Just tack it on. If you think it's going to take six months, give yourself two years. <laughs> like, It's like, be prepared. It's like what they say with, like, building a house or something. They're like, if you ever do that, like, it's going to cost, like, probably... 50% more than what you think it's going to or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's like, I mean, if you look at every single farming game that was out in Kickstarter around the same time, none of them met their original timelines. Not a single one. Everybody had delays of some kind. There so, was a lot that have went on these last few years, too. Like, just yeah. in the world, too. So there's yeah, all kinds of sure. things that have contributed to it. So, yeah. So, yeah. It is what it is. But thanks for everybody. Thanks to everybody for uh, hanging out with us. Thanks to Hidden for streaming for us. So Thank I didn't you have for to having two me. days in a row. I with my spotty internet. I am <laughs> blessed to do it. I am happy to do it. So I appreciate you inviting me to stream the game. Um, now, whenever I talk about it all the time, I can at least point someone in the direction of some gameplay. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna probably put these. These vods will stay on here for a while. Um, we might put them on our YouTube, too, so people can access them if they want to. So we're Perfect. still figuring out what we're going to do with them, but they'll be around. Something. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Yes, thank you, guys. And uh, make sure you catch the Women-Led Game Showcase in March. And be there. see you around. Yes. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your time zone. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>